Hey you! You know what you need? Razors. You know what the Dollar Shave Club has? Razors! So stop paying so much for razors and join the Dollar Shave Club, you hairy person. They let me write this ad, and I know you like being insulted a little bit, don't you, you hairy degenerate? Dollar Shave Club is the smarter choice. Get a great shave at a great price, conveniently delivered right to your door. Think of it as a life hack that keeps you near your video game console and not out at some store being eyeballed by that cashier. Yeah, I know you're looking at me, Tony! What are you going to do about it? Tim uses Dollar Shave Club's executive razor with that Dr. Carver shave butter. And you know what he's always telling me? He says, ooh, I'm a smooth boy, Greggy M. And then he takes a bath. <laughs> For a limited time, new members get their first month of the Executive Razor with a tube of Dr. Carver Shave Butter for only $5 with free shipping. After that, razors are just a few bucks a month. That's a $15 value for only 5 bucks. There are no hidden fees, no commitments. Cancel anytime you like. You can only get this offer exclusively at dollarshaveclub.com slash greggy. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash greggy. Kevin made me read this ad multiple times against my will so I didn't laugh. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Game Over Greggy Show. I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside the Hispanic heartthrob, Andy Cortez. I've been told not to call me Hispanic because I am Mexican. I'm not from Spain. Okay. Uh, How do you feel? I thought we got that name, Hispanic heartthrob. I was at a Ubisoft party, and then Mm. one of the PR dudes there is a kind of funny fan. He's like, like, you you gotta be called like Latino something. Latino, I can't say Latino heat, can I? I I mean, I can't take it away from Eddie. I can't can't take it away from Eddie. Yeah, you're right. My Latino heat? opening ever. We'll think about it. Surprisingly, it's not. My (laughs) flaming hot Cheeto, Andy Cortez. Put some twang on it. Over there, the pure one at Tim Gettys. It's like you all, you're almost there, and then you just go a little too far. It's yeah. like we got to put it some twang to, on the twang it. Could have stayed. I like the little the the hot Cheeto because it keeps hot it Cheeto. spicy. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. No, everything is awkward. No, yeah, nothing's awkward. Caliente at all. Cortez. There it is. There you go. No, it's Caliente kind of Cortez. Oh, that's yeah. Spanish that's so that's for that's Caliente. <laughs> exactly. Muy, muy, muy much. No. And this, the one and only Troy Baker, making his return to the show, like ninth appearance. How are you? Yeah, I'm. I'm like the uh, Alec Baldwin of this thing, right? Yeah, you, exactly. Just, like I've hosted more times. Mm-hmm. We've got to do that. Start actually. Ta- oh, I'm sure you, you have, of course, fans watching, best friends. You've tabulated. Here we go. Here we go. We were having an argument before of where. Ned from Jacob. Spider-Man Homecoming. I said he's doing this. Honolulu, Hawaii. He's from Hawaii. Yeah, so I knew he's an Islander. What's up? Yeah, you were right. Uh, Spanish. I just a bunch of white people just going, I don't know, he's different from me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's generally what the show is. Yeah, right, right. Do the yell thing. Right now? Yeah. Right now. Bring yeah, it out, Andy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Can you whistle, too? <laughs> I can't whistle. No. <laughs> <laughs> I do not believe that you're Latino, my friend. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Okay. No America. We gotta do the thing. I'm ready for it. What thing? Oh, you want me to go on iTunes? Yeah. All right. If you didn't know, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Game Over Greggy Show. Each and every week, four, sometimes five, best friends gather on this table. Each bring a random topic of discussion for your amusement. If you like that, head over to <laughs> patreon.com slash kindoffunny, where you can get each and every episode early. How early, you might ask, Troy Baker? How early? So early, people are watching it live as we record it right Whoa. now, just for a dollar. What a deal. It actually helps us out a lot. It helps us out a lot. Please do it. Uh, if you want it earlier than that, but in like other things and on demand, you can give us five bucks, get every episode. <laughs> early on Friday. You'll you know, get it before we record. <laughs> <laughs> we'll send you notes on what we're thinking of for There's future episodes. There's a Spaceballs reference there now. Now, yeah. sir, exactly <laughs> now. When do we admit it? Just now. <laughs> if you want to be waiting until it's free, that's no big deal. Head over to YouTube.com slash kind of funny where we put up the whole show topic by topic day by day until it's one big video show and MP3. Show. Put some twang on it! <laughs> Next Friday. <sighs> that. Which one? The... Robotech slash oh the Robotech stuff yeah Nick brought all these old things because Nick's real old and like we don't even recognize him because we're Nick's all so like young 80. and viral Nick is like eighty yeah. it's mm-hmm. like eighty I mean he like, was an eighty six year old man when he first started kind of funny. when he first yeah. started so he's yeah. he had classes with with Walter Matthau no shit wow. yeah wow. crazy hot Walter Matthau yeah wow. <laughs> arithmetic wow. taught him everything he knew about grumpy ba- back on, on Nick, the abacus. Kevin's gonna eventually yell at you mm-hmm. so you got to turn the mics with you yeah but this is what there's there's a mystery to it Kevin because no. people go oh wait what did he say no they're just and in their then, car and they're like what first off he keeps referencing <laughs> things I can't see <laughs> okay, well what first of that? all if you're watching this in your car. <laughs> 
Don't. It's good MP3. for you. Good for you. Do you. Yeah. The little Your Tesla screen. You, you, have, ah. you are going to be the reason why we have uh, self-driving cars. Yeah. Minority Report. A movie. Most <laughs> yeah. people don't know this. <laughs> That's Kevin and I. Yeah. With up-and-coming uh, actor... Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Mm -hmm. That's right. 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 Tom Tim Cruise. Cruise. Is that when you think self-driving cars, that's what you jump through? That's the most immediate thing because... I, for me, it's Time Cop. But do you remember... Oh! Time Cop is my like... My heart! Oh, my heart just broke a little bit. He, you were absolutely right. He gets in the car. Home. Go home. Yeah. And they drove home. Like, what the fuck? The this is, technology will never exist. And it looked, it looked thing. like a jalopy that was put together. They didn't look like real cars. Well, you can't give him like the best of them. He's got he's driven, like an old, the version of like an old 88. The confusing There's thing. There's never was, enough time. That's the best line. There's never enough time. They were on a highway. Read between the lines. <laughs> 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 Greatest movie ever made. I'm going to let you get to your line. But now that you brought a time you don't cop, have to. you don't understand the portal that you just opened. This, I have this fight. <laughs> with people and this is one of the things that I love about him most is that he recognizes the brilliance of that movie. <laughs> Fuck yeah. You everybody <laughs>, laughs at the movie, but you learned one thing and there's one thing about physics that everybody knows. Same square, matter cannot occupy square, the same square, space exactly. at the same time. Right, yeah. It's bullshit, but you know it because you watch Time Cop. Right. Everyone thinks that is a law. Well, of course, the same matter can't occupy the same space at the same time. That's Newton's fit. No, it's yeah. bullshit. It's Time Cop. Jean-Claude Van Damme. Now, real quick, before you get to your story. <laughs> the other me. great thing Don't about this, me. of course, was yes. that Mike Boylan's father just bootlegged every... He'd rent movies Mike and Boylan. come in. Mike Boylan's dad. <laughs> yeah, we know. He'd come in and he'd bootleg every movie, just make his own copy. So he had this awesome movie collection. And one day we were, hang we're there, seven or eight, I don't know. And he's like, let's watch, you know, let's watch something. We pick Time Cop and he put it on. And then when it got to the sex scene with... Uh, Jean Claude and then Sloan from uh, Ferris well, Bueller's Day Off. Oh, yeah. God bless. He was like, Oh, I forgot about this. And he got up and held an Afghan in front of the TV awkwardly while we were all just waiting. And he was like, All right, cool. And then it was just, she was full. Pew, pew. In that. It was cold. It's cold. I, uh, it's cold in the future. <laughs> no, I was, talk I was talking about Jean Claude, Jean Claude Van Damme. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, what that, was your time cop story? Oh, I was going to say no, it also, wasn't a time cop story. It was from Minority Report. It's like they have those highways with all those sev with all those vehicles, right? They went like up the wall, driving, right? yeah, up the walls driving up the building, like sideways. But when he heads out to that farm, he has like his own fucking like red Nissan that he stole. Do no, you no, no, no. It's a Lexus. I oh, know this Alexis. because I had the model. They released a die cast model of that. It was and so why cool. Did you, why did you big you Minority Report? Somebody gave it to me. It was mm. like, here, you want this. I'm it like, was a cool movie. Do. It was a fucking dork. cool movie. I mean, that movie is probably going to go down in history as like one of the most defining movies where it's like people will, yeah, Emotion. Th that is attributed to Minority Report, right? Mm. Philip K. Dick? Yeah, no, I guess so. Mm -hmm. Did, I never watched Philip K. Dick stories. In the what? same way that like Iron Man Wait, With you never watched what? Uh, uh, the Minority Report. You've never seen it? No. Man. It looked dumb. Kidding. I didn't see it. Nobody has. It seen looked it. dumb. Fuck you. <laughs> it did. It looked dumb, and I didn't even. Dude, <laughs> James Cromwell, dude, it is brilliant. Is it good still? Yes, I it still holds it when up. I saw it. It's great. Yes, it really? still holds up. Yeah. Man. All right, all right. Tom Cruise, say what you want. The homie. I don't get why people give so much shit to Tom Cruise. He's I pizza. love him. He's dude. pizza. He's always good. Yeah, dude. Last Samurai, great. Call it whitewashing if you want to, <laughs> but the point is, is that he is white. It it's whitewashing. not whitewashing because the whole point is, he was an outsider. He was a Westerner who finally understood Eastern culture. It's like Tokyo. Drift. This is why we exactly, don't dude. have no. It is not God. Danny <laughs> it's Tim. Very, it's very similar. It's to very, this. very exactly similar. Except for the fact that it's not a period piece. Right. B. There's no drifting. Okay, you're right. He got me and that's why that's why that movie isn't as good. Now, technically, Tokyo Drift was a period piece. It was in the future. We didn't know it at the time. Yeah, what? in the future where they had their <laughs> flip phones. Good point. Don't dude. worry about it. That was still popular. Whatever. Whatever. Future. Yeah. And Lil Bow Wow had his fucking Hulk car, or whatever mm -hmm. it was. Do you know that purportedly? And I want to see if somebody shuts this down for me. Uh, Vin Diesel gave up his residuals or royalties or whatever on uh, Fast and Furious Two for the rights. For Riddick? Riddick. It wasn't Fast and Furious. He gave him up on something else. You sure? Yeah, it wasn't the Fast and Triple Furious X. series. The Pacifier. It might have been Triple X. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, he made the game, right? It wasn't Fast like and Furious. The, huh? Yeah, with it, Riddick, yeah. And it was very he owns Riddick. Riddick, completely. And they were like, and that's why sure, you can have it. He was like, I get in perpetuity comics, films, uh, Video games. People got so excited everything. for that game when they brought it back. The Return to Butcher's Bay or whatever on 360. 
Oh yeah, no, they no, did no, no, that. no! I don't yeah. think it was 360. Yeah, well, yeah, the, the original one was yeah. Xbox or whatever. Yeah, and then they did a, uh, in the HD remaster kind of shit beforehand. He plays yeah. a lot of World of Warcraft. That Vin Diesel. He does. He's a huge WD. He or, also he, he showed D&D sewer sharks. Played with that one him, time. the sewer sharks. Yeah. Street oh sharks. yeah, street sharks. Right. My apologies, my D&D. Apologies. Yeah, uh, yeah, super sharks. Got I a massive punch. Whatever. Here we go. There we go. Vin Diesel's shrewd move, Boom. trading Fast Suck and Furious cameo, cameo no. to own Riddick Wright. Oh! He shows up in the end of two. Yeah, yeah, oh, in the end no. of three. In the end of three. Tokyo, Tokyo Drift. Yeah, yeah. Tokyo Drift. This right. is what's God, crazy. Kept it still, canon, you know? I can't figure out. There's no cool way to drink out of this. Well, you, are, you play <laughs> Batman, so I gave you the Batman mug. We're all out of the short glasses. No, They're I get the connection. Because you play him. Yeah. Batman. Yeah, no, You are the Batman. Mm-hmm. I am the a Dark Batman. Knight. Now there's a con. Oh, I don't know if I can talk about this yet. There's a there's a there's a con that's bringing up a whole bunch of Batman, and I can't be there. Um, oh, I'll go. Yeah, we'll go, go for you. Yeah. We'll it's it's going to be interesting. I don't know if they've announced yet. So <laughs> probably don't. Probably not a good idea. I'll volunteer no, myself. Sure what has this guy been in? <laughs> now, Troy, make you this. You've been on many a game over, Greggy show. Many a game. They're over always bourbon infused. They're always good I was conversation. The first. If you notice, but I mean, from up at noon to bring bourbon on, you yeah. you started the drinking. Train. I was like, we're drinking, and I think it was Nick. Was like, oh shit! <laughs> on, on up at noon, up at noon? Yeah. 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 hell yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I broke it. it was I like, love What's that. up? Yeah, so we got hammer toasted. No, we didn't. What, hammer toasted. I, so what I want? Uh, we like we like the first topic to be ro- roving. We just talk about whatever we want to talk about. Yeah. So what I'm going to tell you is that Andy's never had mac and cheese. What's wrong with you? A lot. Do you not know that Jesus Christ is your personal Lord and Savior? <laughs> I've mean, never, mean? I've just never had it. It said, okay, was it was it like you didn't? I'm gonna ask you a couple qualifying questions. Sure. Did you grow up affluent? Was there like, did you grow up with money? I mean, middle class, like you know. <laughs> Until Andy yeah. came to work here, he had never had a Whopper or a Big Mac. You grew up rich, didn't you? you no, rich kids. God no, God no. You want no, the no, rich no. kids? No, no, no. no. So, so I always attributed to. I had my butler make me whatever hamburger <laughs> I wanted. It was my 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 Mexican upbringing, my Mexican American upbringing. We're like, we didn't eat mac and cheese. We didn't eat. Are you like first uh, generation? No, well, no. Then, I'm like second or third. But brother, like, what are you doing? <laughs> but, but our lunches were like, you know. Straight, it's so stereotypical, but it was like it was like tacos. Taquitos and yeah. Yeah. it was just like, hey, do you want a taco with beans and and potato, or a taco with beans and egg, or whatever? Okay. Like that's what our meals were. That's what our like our snacks were. Do you want a snack? Butter with uh, butter and tortilla. Hell yeah, tortilla dude. with mantequilla. Little, oh, oh yeah. see them butter, yeah. dude. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so that, good. So you have a family that was like, hey, <laughs> it's not you. It's, it's it's just sometimes it's what is going on lost? in the office where Cool Greg walks in with a glass of wine on his phone. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, all right, yeah, that, that's happening I, back there. Sure. I am completely behind that 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 little functional name as well because he is incredibly cool. Oh, he's cool. like, the coolest. Hey, what, yeah. I was like, dude, hey, we haven't met yet. He's like, I'm Greg. Like, you've been waiting to meet me. Yeah. <laughs> I, a little bit. Oh, like, I will never forget Sean Finnegan is coming over to be on our podcast, and Sean Finnegan works for IGN, so he's like going to be on the games cast with you and Alfredo. And he walks up, and the first thing Cool Greg says to him, he's like, Hey, what's up, man? Hey, I hope he didn't use any. Did you use up all your good topics on IGN? You better not have, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, there's a little bit of fear by you. Like, <laughs> no, I mean, I didn't. Cool. No, I, I like, got, he could do I this. Got, this yeah. thing. He got a really <laughs> guy a little bit. Um, that's very interesting. I respect your family for being able to. So, like, hey, we want to uh, maintain our. Uh, our culture. We we don't, I don't want know you if to it be. Was necessarily that. I think Come it was on, just... man. I gotta I gotta have some kind of anchor point. Otherwise, Andy you're had never had up. a corn dog till he moved here Dude. and worked with us. <laughs> here's what. Here's Dude. the deal. Like if you grew up where you're like you're like my parents were going through the couch and shit like that to 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 get the money to make sure that we had food and that was going you get the state fair uh, cor- uh, corn dogs foot long yeah. No, no, those were the rich kids. I'm talking about like the ones that were like 78 cents for the whole package. And and then macaroni oh, and mean, cheese. You don't mean go to the state fair. You mean out of the freezer section. I'm caught oh, yeah, yeah, the freezer, I'm caught no, the freezer no, section. Caught and then because the rich kids had the ones with the, the fake cheese in the hot dog. Oh, you know what I'm science, talking about? Yeah, yeah. Science, man. Dude, That's, that was like, you. Know, how, could, how could any parent go, this is going to kill my kid, but it's only a dollar. Um, so that's like what we, there are... Great segue. Uh, there are a lot of things from my childhood that now I'm reclaiming and, and bringing back and trying to make a little bit more gourmet. Submitted for your approval. Probably Chili Mac. Society. What? Chili, Chili Mac. Mac. When the weather got cold on like a Wednesday night or whatever, can of chili, macaroni and cheese, meat, blush, Chili Mac. Now that was it because it was cheap and it was fast and it was easy. What I have done 
is try to make it a little bit more gourmet and make it a thing. So like you make your own chili. Um, you can even make your own pasta if you want to. But dude, when the weather starts getting down, it really becomes more like a, a nice stew. Because I, we talked about this last time. When I was up here, I got like really sick and I changed my diet completely. Like it was like a huge left turn yeah, for yeah. me. Yeah, I listened to that. Um, and thank you. It was a good mm-hmm. one. This yeah, is their good. show. I don't it's get great credit for it. <laughs> he only listens to episodes um, you're on. <laughs> but I, I cook like every meal. Like I, I cook constantly. Um, I want to know what the thing with the sous vide is because I've been waiting patiently. Are you not hip to the sous vide? I'm I'm hip to knowing what sous vide is, but one big dog, Kevin, Kevin Coelho. So big. <laughs> Kevin Coelho is obsessed Bro, with sous vide. There's, there's a All reason. he does now is it's sous vide. Awesome. Please explain it to the people. Okay, so sous vide is it's a, pr- a precision immersion cooker. So what you do is I could on this... This table. <laughs> See, I did that. Brought it back. Yes, it was awesome. Um, on this You're table, I could make you one of the best steaks you've ever had. What I do is Fucking I get prove it. it. Okay, bro. <laughs> if we had like a Nova, this Thank is you. when you send. I have a Nova. That's the one that I have. Yeah, that's You awesome. can tell Alexa. You'd be like, hey, Alexa, uh, help me make a steak. It's like, Bleh! and it turns it on and starts getting. So you Whoa. get a big pot of water. You put this thing. It's like kind of like a big Tylenol looking thing. And you put it in the water and it creates like a jacuzzi bath. And it keeps the water at a perfect temperature. So if I want to make you a medium rare steak that's like two inches cut, I get like great center cut fillets. 131.5 degrees is medium rare. And so I get the water and it goes, boop, the water's at 131.5. I take my meat, I put it in a Ziploc bag. You can do like the, you know, uh, the vacuum seal, seal, the vacuum, vacuum seal. seal yeah. But I just do the, the I really Ziploc. Like, I like the vacuum seal. Do I you? like the whole process of I'm it. I'm about to get, I'm about to get like hip to it. But well, I, I go to Costco and buy like a ton of meat. And just freeze a whole bunch. Okay, so I'm gonna, dude. I'm like, we're giving so many plugs. Um, Make sure that because you're going through this great process of like cooking your own stuff and everything. I'm I'm not knocking Costco. I have no idea who their suppliers are. Um, But there's a company called Butcher Box that will locally source where you are. Grass fed. Sounds expensive. It's by it's, the people who make Ludbox. It's really not. I sound like I'm giving What's them a month? plug. Lude they box? should be paying you guys to say this, but they'll give away free bacon for life. What? They give what? you free bacon if, for life. If, what, what are you saying? If you sign up. What if they run out of pigs? <laughs> well, then they'll give you something else, man. But we're never going to run out of bacon. We may Wait, run no, out of pigs, on. but we'll never run out of bacon. I eat a lot of bacon. Like, I eat two slices of bacon every day. Right now, I'm out. This is the first day in like two months that I haven't had bacon. I don't feel great. So like that, would, that seems that seems <laughs> perfect. Bit. Yeah, limited bacon for Kev. That's Check them out, dude. Uh, again, you sh- they should be paying you for these plugs, but they should. Um, we'll send them a bill. Because what I what I want to make sure is doing, I'm, I'm getting really clean food. But yeah, I take my meat and I'll, uh, I'll do some Salt and pepper, rub that in the meat. Mm-hmm. I'll chop up some yeah, fresh rosemary. Yeah, you will. Uh, a little yep. bit of garlic. Yeah. If I want to, I can put a little Worcestershire Lemon in there. Lemon pepper? Yeah, a little Worcestershire. If I'm doing fish or chicken, yes. Oh, what about sriracha? you ever put that twang you on like that it? sriracha? You, I mean, you can. I'm a big sriracha. I'm going to go get the your catchphrase. <laughs> I take that, I seal the bag, I put it into the water, and I leave it. This is what Kevin was saying. It takes forever, right? Just walk away from it. 45 minutes is just the minimum. Just walk away. <laughs> you just, but you walk away, you forget about it. I, I, I'll do it for an hour, two hours. doesn't matter because it will never overcook. But I'll take that out and it's kind of, it looks a little grayish, doesn't look right. And then you put that on your grill. You can put it on uh, a skillet. Just put a little bit of olive oil, some shallots, sear the sides, put it out and it is a perfectly cooked like medium rare hot pink center steak. It's amazing. I've always messed up chicken. Either got it too dry mm. or whatever. This thing does it perfectly. So good. Um, you can do it with chicken too? Yeah. Dude, you can do it with everything. You can take a human hand. You can take a human <laughs> he- head. Not <laughs> head. Put a human head. Um, or you can take hard boiled eggs. No bag. Put them right in the water. Okay. Pull them out. Perfect. Hard, hard boiled minutes. eggs. I grew up allergic to eggs. So I don't need eggs either. Well, then you go. What is allergic the other- to chicken. <laughs> what are the other big foods oh. you haven't eaten? Um, I don't Not know. like large size, but like things we always... No, 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 no. Okay, I see what you're trying to do. You literally turned your body away from me. Here's your boy talking about this. You're cooking now. How? I'll I'm tell just you bringing this. him into the conversation. Yeah, 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 but, He's over here on this you're island. Also deflecting just a little bit. <laughs> I want to know what's your aversion to this. It seems like easy mode, and I won't be a part of it. 
Oh, right. it's not right. easy mode. There's, there's a rack like of easy land. Mode. There's it's a rack of better land. mode. There's there's better a, mode. There's no difference. Sounds optimized. If you go to any uh, any two hours restaurant. for a steak. Yeah, Tim it, Gettys, you give me 15 minutes, I'll give you a fucking. What about steak, barbecue? Right? Barbecue, the whole thing is low and slow, right? Yeah, low true. heat, no, I'll slow. Give you that, I'll give you that, I'll okay, so you go to any high end restaurant, any especially steak restaurant. Mm -hmm. You say you're doing sous vide or infrared broiler, and they'll go doing sous vide. There's only been one restaurant in the last year that I've gone to. I was like, what Apple do you guys? Bees. Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a steak joint in Chicago. Oh, yeah? Black and, Eyed Peas. And Pete. they, oh, man, I know you know this place. It's one of those places. It's been there for freaking ever. Okay, okay. Shonies. And I was like, so do you guys do sous vide? Do you use it for a rep? goes, probably using a grill. It's the first one that I had to go, I'm sorry, man, my steak's not done right. And I never send back food. It was all unevenly cooked. It was charred. They did like the Philly flash, you know, yeah, where it's like yeah. really, really charred on the outside. Um, but it's it's a you can't have like seventy five tables no yeah, yeah, yeah and and be cooking steaks you can't do that so they'll have big tubs or they have an infrared broiler that's just constantly going through and it's what's an infrared broiler I'm not familiar with infrared that broiler is most grills have an infrared broiler okay um, super high heat but it's it's uh, in, instead of using like flame it's using infrared as the source of heat and so it uh, cooks more okay. accurately okay okay um, so the whole thing is about precision cooking. But it's it's French, you know, so the French can cook. Maybe Outback Steakhouse should adopt this method. They don't need to change anything. Because yeah. their f steaks are awful. Mm -mm. They are awful. I used to go you to just have to lower time. your expectations when you're going Outback. <laughs> you're it's not hard, the Andy. experience that you think When you're there, you're family. I would lower my expectations <laughs> here, if here. it was like... <laughs> when you're here, you when you're here, diarrhea. you're here. I would, I would lower my expectations <laughs> if it was like $10. But it's not. It's, it's like 40 bucks. No, no, you guys are 22, 20, yeah, 18, 19. 19. I'll give you 18. $17 gets you a nice steak, then you got to do tip But it's not a nice steak. Outback deal. to me is For like, do I want French. Chili's or do I want Outback? Because those are pretty much the same yeah. thing. Pretty I'm much the same Outback's thing. appetizers I've had worse are, experiences. Are God, like, God's here, God's here. I can't do it anymore. I can't, I just, I, I can't do it anymore. It's, there, not, it's not me. I can't buy into the sous vide thing. I don't like the way, I don't like the way it sounds. So sous -vide. Sous -vide. But you're always saying it wrong. Sous vide. Sous -vide. I yeah. never know. Yeah, I just won't say. It. I feel like I can't adopt it if I cannot. Here's what I'm gonna do, man. I, if, if I had known, Kevin, like we would have, we would have rocked these guys' right. world. We would have done it. Surprise! We would have done like the Folgers instant thing. Like we would have come out here as like trying uh, to steak. Uh, these steaks like, have both been cooked mm. in different methods. And, <laughs> and then I'll, I'll redo I the Chris like Farley this. skit from Saturday Night Live where he's like, "Did you son of a bitch?" Well, it's. You can just all you need is a power outlet and a bucket of water. Yep, that's it. Man. We can do that on the morning on, show, though. Kevin. I thought this whole sous vide thing. Am I saying it right? Yeah, yeah. sous vide. See, that's yeah, yeah. like you're gonna S -S -S sous vide. U.S. sous vide. V i d e. I thought I thought that was your blowtorch shit. No, that's the no, creme brulee no, thing. That's no, awesome. No, he no, blowtorches. No, no. So I don't have like my. Is that how you sear your steak? Yeah, my fiance uh, is what? vegetarian. So when I when I sear it with a pan, it fills the house with smoke. Okay. So I looked it up. You get a blowtorch, put it right like under your fan and have it blowing. Just it's faster too, huh? Yeah, very. Uh, it takes about like five minutes for a good sized steak. But okay. Kevin just likes having the blowtorch. I like That's having a blowtorch. Pretty dope. Do you make creme brulee as well? I haven't yet. He's on this I, wedding diet. Yeah, I'm trying to like. I I, I don't hear you. I hear you. Um. Yeah, dude. I still bake fish. Okay. I don't. I won't do sous vide okay. fish. Uh, Why? Just because uh, I, I just fish. I like a good baked mm. fish, um, but maybe I need I need to try it. I haven't tried it yet. Brining is the key, oddly enough, okay. with uh, with fish years. putting it in salt water. I <laughs> cannot cook. That's my problem. Neither could I, dude. Honestly, um, it's not about the cook. It's about the recipe. So anybody can follow a recipe. It's not you're not having to really create. That's what they um, said in Breaking Bad. When you try to re replicate, can the I cook? Or can I, I cook? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's a guy. That's a guy. That's Mike. So, <laughs> we'll and, see. Uh, oh, and oh. honestly, one of the things that I love about this thing is that it, it has the recipe. There's there's this rack of lamb or lamb shake recipe. Forty eight hours. Yeah. To cook this thing, it walks you through exactly what to do. Uh, I make great fish tacos, and I do my own coleslaw. I just where feel I like, like I'd fuck it up. You wouldn't. So bad. And the, but the beauty of it is, like, are you single? Not right now. No. It's totally the other way around. It's like, it's like, are you dating? Not right now. Are you single? No, man, not right now. What is the story behind that? It's just weird. It's because, like, I've 
I've been like lifetime single for the last like fucking four years. Where it's okay. just like I'm never gonna find anybody. And as soon as I ma- moved to San Francisco, I found a little lady, and we are very into each other. Is she 80? What do you mean, little lady? <laughs> She's 74. <laughs> found this okay. nice dame. She has a lot of money. She's willing to. She's pay got, got a lot of bucks, a lot of debts. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. the story there. I don't know. How long have you been together? Uh, since May, like late May. Okay, so you can also say a couple months. I could say that. Here's, here, to bring you to speed, here's what you're doing. Here's what's happening. <laughs> okay. For this, he, he's confirming this on air for the first time. Oh, he's shit. never talked about this. Yeah. No one's ever put him on the spot. It's before. come up randomly. It's come up it's randomly, randomly like, of like there's a girl or something, but not what we're talking about here. No, you're mean, in love. You're going to marry this woman. <laughs> oh my God, so Where you at? Where you at with this? Uh, it's looking great, man. Like, That's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's looking fucking good. awesome. How old are you? I'm 29. How old is she? She's 28. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 25, 26, it's, it's pickup sticks. It's like, it's like roll the dice. But yeah. both of you guys, you... We know what we want. Wait, Each other. wait for... Dude, <laughs> oh, 30, so you're ramping up, bro. 30 is going to ask... Well, you're 27? 27. Yeah. 28. 28. 28. Okay. 28. Um, 30 will be like a defining year for you. It is... If you think your 20s were cool, just fucking wait, dude. Your 30s are incredible. And 40s are even better. So... She's already ahead of you. you You're like 19, right? 41. Really? I, I Shut the feel fuck like up. every time you say that, it still blows my mind. <laughs> cool, <Greg>. Hell, Jess. <laughs> 41. Wow. I am closer to 50 than I've ever been in my life. True story. Oh, shit. So are you, by yeah, that yeah, same yeah, token. Yeah, 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 yeah. It really is. But no, I mean, I if I knew my 30s were going to be that cool, I would have skipped my 20s. And I did some cool shit in my 20s. But there's just something about... Like, where you're at now, you... you transplanted yourself much like I did I was when did you move here April okay so you're like April 3rd you know what man I think I was 29 or 30 when I moved to California um you, and you moved from Texas I moved from Texas Just Dallas like yeah you moved from Austin no way for real Dallas? yeah dude Dallas oh, baby shit, I didn't know that um did you do the drive yeah it's cool, right? It's wait, fucking, wait, wait. Did you do the ten or the forty? I don't know. I, I drove to Las Cruces and I drove to L.A. and then I I wanted to take the Pacific Coast Highway, but I was like, well, that starts in California, kind of running off, running out of time. So I went to Las Cruces, New Mexico. Oh, you wanted to go up, right? Because I'm thinking L.A. So yeah, you, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, I did like as much Route 66 as I could, and like the sound. I will never in my life forget. Like on my deathbed, I will have that soundtrack that I played while you're like going through Oklahoma. Sucks. Most of New Mexico, like on the Texas side, is terrible. But then you start getting onto the Arizona and Nevada side, and it's just freaking yeah. great. And I made a trip of it, man. I went up and and saw a buddy of mine in Vegas, but not like Vegas. We like went to like he's like East Vegas, lived outside of it, and then going down and trying to hit up as much of Route sixty six. And honestly, Cars that movie got it right. Fucking love there's Cars, so, man. So it's so accurate. Never saw it. You should. Damn Skip it, two, Greg. watch three. Watch Cars 1 and 3. Don't watch 2. 2 was a little bit of a cash grab. It's real bad. Yeah, 3, which was... 3 just came out. 3 just came out. Okay, I haven't haven't seen 3. 2, the the first part of it, though, with Michael Caine was awesome. Yes. But then everything else... It falls apart. Like... (laughs) I'm Michael (laughs) Caine. They're like Mater becoming a spy and stuff. I don't don't want to... I don't know about that, guys. Uh, (laughs) Come on, Pixar. (laughs) Fuck, I love this show. This so much fun. Um, but yeah, dude, it's it's a really cool thing. That that to me is a rite of passage. I did the... Oh, shit, we could get an ad if we wanted to. That'd be do weird. It. Let's get fucking go, it. Troy. Get in there. Get Let's weird. do it. I did the try. I like My my brain like hits like six inches ahead of where my mouth is uh, on a timeline. Now, don't inbreed in the six inches in the mouth. Six um, inches, nice. Yeah. How yeah. did you spill? Very average, right, I guess? There was a <laughs> loose ice cube. And the show was starting, and I had nowhere to put it, so I just put it on my coaster. It's a bowl right in front of you. But that, you, you want table ice in your you nice ice? No, 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 no you're, you're right. Yeah. Uh, have you ever done the drive from either way, L.A. to New York or New York to L.A.? No, I've driven from Boston. I've driven from Boston yeah, to dude. Austin. Doesn't count. I mean, it's, it's, it's it was me, that, fucking cool. That's a drive. That's yeah. a drive and a half. Um, most of... Here's what I love. The people who went west... Like they left some cool shit, and then for the longest time there is nothing, (laughs) and they have to go. That we came out here, they didn't know there was an ocean on the other side, right? They're just going. They just understand that there's beauty out in California. They 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 just know that they're going west and seeing what's out here. 
the fact that they pursued and persisted past Utah, yeah, or God, Illinois. John right, Stockton. Well, you know what I'm talking on, about, though. Come on, Nasek. Come Chicago's on, beautiful. Come on, now. but like if they went through like <laughs> Champagne when there's <laughs> nothing Shlana there, in Urbana, yeah. But I, here's terrifying. my thing: is I try to I try to rationalize when I think about it when I'm driving across Missouri or something, right? Of um, man, this is Missouri's beautiful though. It's beautiful. Even okay, Once so I'm driving the Ozarks. I'm, though you're like, oh, you mean I'm driving. Missouri? Di- <laughs> well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm driving through Illinois or something. Even then, it's like, well, we've turned this into farmland. There would have been more rattlesnakes and boa constrictors and kangaroos <laughs> and shit. It's not in the there jungle. Would have, there would have been <laughs> more jaguars and cheetahs. <laughs> there would have been trees and Elephants shit. Elephants running around. I'm <laughs> saying, it would have been There's a more wallabies. diverse landscape then. And I can't imagine like the first time you get to a bluff, let alone the first time you get to the fucking Rocky Mountains, what you're thinking. No, here's my thing. You're the those guys. I've ever driven has been from San Francisco to LA. Oh, Jeez. no, really? dude. And like that fucking trip. That's a you six hour saw, drive, this, bro. I mean, first off, way too long. Second <laughs> off, people are like, oh, man, like it's beautiful. Right? It was great. That drive sucks. There's nothing uh, fun about that. Drive. Majority of it sucks. Majority of it sucks. You're, you're if once you get out of like, would you get started? Do you go 101 or did you try to do the two the one? Uh, he did 101. He no, did. You did the done, 101 done, and done. just murder yourself. Well, yeah, we have done both. Yeah. We've done both. And we've okay, been stuck in traffic. Here's, I, I, I highly recommend it. And, and here's how you do it. You you take your time. Um, I think about the 25th hour when um, it's going to come to me. Tom Cruise. No. I saw you say it and look to me like I was like, you're, I'm like, we're on the trampoline or the, the trapeze <laughs> together. And I'm like, I don't know what you want me to <laughs> say. Yeah. Grab here. I got nothing. Oh, I can't help you. Go with the net. <laughs> um, uh, uh, 25th hour. Um, he plays ben his father, Stiller. Brian. Hasselhoff. Uh, Brian. Cranston. No, Brian Cranston. There's like 18 people screaming it right now. Their Brian radios. O'Donohue. For, yeah, I went to junior high. No, with him. it's it's anyway that guy. Um, shit on me. Uh, Gary Busey. No, it's, it's <laughs> Brian. Guys, Brian. Somebody, Kevin, look it up. All right, what are we looking at? 25th hour, Brian. Brian Cox. God damn Brian it. Brian Cox. Anyway, what, so. I was my say tongue. That. Tip my tongue. Yeah. Brian Cox at the very end of it is telling Edward Brian Norton. He's like, you're going to drive across this <laughs> so country. Brian. It's not Brian Denny. <laughs> no, no, fucking Brian Denny. He goes, you're going to drive across this country. It's a beautiful country. This this country holds mysteries that you know everybody should see. And he starts talking about the different things that you see as you drive across the country. And the 40 is the first interstate that really just bisected and, and, and went from one coast to the other. Um, and you go L.A. This is, how, this is how I recommend it. You go L.A. to Winslow, Arizona. So you go past Flagstaff and you go into Winslow. Flagstaff is a bigger city, but Winslow, Arizona has this old hotel uh, called La Posada. And it's you should know this. Um, because it's Hispanic words. So <laughs> the, the most racist Yo, you thing know, Come on, you, you know, know all of you know, Latino you know, culture. Oh my gosh, Ricky right? works there. Also, uh, Tio Carlos, yeah, he works there. <laughs> so stupid. Um, I ate a taco. You know, you know a taco. <laughs> it's it's some Spanish word. I I messed it up. I'm sure. Um, but no, it's it's one of the last standing uh, old Harvey hotels that was on the rail line. So like before, there's Palm Springs. Steve Harvey. This is where Steve Harvey, well, everybody man, the family feud. Um, that was Bill Cosby too. Yeah. Steve Harvey for some Very weird. Um, cool, Greg. Can we get more ice? Yeah, please? more ice, please. Uh, and more bourbon. Yeah, I was going to say, bring one of the, uh, the other and, bourbons. And, and more discretion. Maybe just a little bit more discretion <laughs> too. Um, but no, it's it's uh, the people that have stayed there. Like all of the rooms are named after the famous people that stay there. So there's the Albert Einstein suite. Mm, mm. Uh, there's the Clark Gable room. You, there's all these... And they have pictures of these people at this hotel. So it's, it's this old forgotten hotel that in the 20s was the joint. And it's this Popping off. beautifully uh, ornate kind of uh, ranch style home that they turn into a hotel. Anyway, so you stop there your first night. Great meal, great hotel. There's the Meteor Impact site that you can go see, which is really cool to see. Uh, and then you drive on and you go to Santa Fe. Santa Fe is out of your way. You take the f- uh, 40 from Winslow to Albuquerque. You forget you ever saw Albuquerque and you go north on the 25 and you hit Santa Fe. ABQ, Breaking Bad, man. Dude, yeah, it's bad. But honestly, that that show was the best and worst thing that happened to <laughs> Albuquerque because it gave people a lot of jobs, but it also like... It, it's a South Park reference, but it put a Whole Foods in Albuquerque. You know uh, what I mean? Sure. So it's Shatipa Town. It, sure. it just it turned it into a shitty thing. Um, and then you leave Santa Fe and you go to Oak City, Oak City to Nashville, Nashville, Nashville. to uh, DC, and then DC into New York. And it's just how long does that take? 
I did it in six days. Okay. Yeah, so five nights. So uh, Winslow, Oklahoma, or Winslow, Santa Fe, Oklahoma, Nashville. Uh, yeah, six days, so five five nights. Why'd you do it? Was that the point? Uh, Doing it for a girl. No, I was driving cross country with my friend because his girlfriend was working in New York. And you're reaching, I'm, you're, I'm, I, I don't know. I, should I know this story? Do yeah. I know this story? I don't know. Okay. Uh, she she was working in New York, and so he was moving out there to be with her. Ah, uh, now I know who we're talking about. And so, so uh, this is recent. It was last January. Sure. It was last January. I'm sure. so. Uh, Are we not saying names, or do we care? Um, Why would they care? We don't talk anymore. No. We don't talk anymore. No way. We don't talk anymore. Man, I want to know. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Like you go through yeah, this. Yeah, that's bourbon. You that's, go through this. That is you, devastating, right? Yeah, dude. It's been it's been a weird year. Wow. So, and it's been almost a year to the day where that happened. So, like, you go from starting the year off that way to ending it, and it's like, uh, and it fundamentally like rocked. Yeah, all aspects of the world because that's like that was that was that was a core like you have four stakes in your tent and one of them's gone and a fucking gust of wind comes and you're just yeah wow right wow so yeah now I understand protecting the privacy of ever being involved bit. in that one yeah so I'm, so I'm sorry I call you so <clears throat> this segues into something else um, there are we've been working on this album um, and we're still working on it it's done. Uh, I really, really wanted to, I was going to try and like, uh, there's a point I'm going with this. Uh, I'm sorry, Tim Gettys. Oh, no, it's cool. I just, you know, <clears throat> want to pretend I'm cool and, and stuff, but I don't know what You don't have to pretend. You're really these. cool. I saw Thank you kind of funny that. live. And you, dude. Yeah, I did thanks my for coming. Thing. Thing. Did my thing. Yeah. I couldn't be there. You know, Andy? Cool, man. This is what I'm always saying. Do you know where I was? These guapos. That's what they're doing. <laughs> Ireland. Oh my god, that sounds pretty cool. I was in Ireland when that was happening. Thank you. Um, it was insane. It was insane. It looked insane. Like I, especially coming from well, the, the tangent, which is a good one to follow. This whole show is just a tangent. No sweat. By the way, cheers. Cheers. By the way, I have yeah. a guitar yeah. here. Cheers. You do? Oh that my god. We could just. Oh my god. I <clears throat> You know, national anthem player. Well, wait, real quick, I want I want you guys to I want you to inform me. Sure. What's the differences between these? Like, are, is one There's nicer? A, oh, than Oh, this another? is whiskey and this, this is bourbon. Does well, this well, well, in terms of like, like, right, right. So, a this is uh, you cannot actually technically have a scotch unless it is from Scotland, mm -hmm. right? Oh. So it's Japanese, right? But yeah. there was. Yeah. Um, I believe it was McCallan himself went to Japan, Tokyo. And brought over scotch and they fell in love with it. And so they started making it themselves. And so they truly make a great scotch whiskey. But <clears throat> uh, Hibiki or Yamazaki is technically scotch, but they won't call it scotch. So it's a Japanese whiskey. But this is, it's a fantastic, especially in the summer, is, is amazing, amazing. It's like a real refreshing kind of whiskey. <clears throat> this is a small batch bourbon. Yeah, 1792. That's a, that's a, a um, remnant of, Man, my brain is moving at literally it's 90 Six or inches in front of your six pants. Six inches in front of my... <laughs> Ever had a Kool-Aid jammer? <laughs> That's some good wow. stuff. Wow, are you into like a Bartles and James? <laughs> Where were you going with this? Where do you, what are you talking about? That was a, a remnant thing. of... It was a remnant of Colin, wasn't it? 1792? Well, seven, well, yeah, that's an American history thing, for sure, yeah. But I'm saying that... Is I that was a date bottle? in American oh, history, I mean, like, for sure. <laughs> I know that much. <laughs> Pretty sure something they oh, had one the, of those. The right love of bourbon goes beyond People everybody. existed in that year. Yeah. 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 There was a Castlevania human. that I just watched was in 14, was 1476. So. Mm. Oh, did you finish it? it? After. I did. I liked yeah. it a lot, man. Me too. I did. It, it four episodes? Four one hour? Four episodes. Four no, minute like episodes. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Yeah. I, I met the director at a con. Adi Shankar? No, he didn't direct it. He was executive producer on it. Someone else directed I thought he directed it too, but no, the... It says directed by someone else. Understood. It's yeah. good. I liked it a lot. Yeah. I have to watch this stuff. What are you watching right now? Nothing. I, watch I love TV. that there's no topics. Can I we do just TV? do no it's topics? Big, I'm totally down for no topics. Yeah, just, we just I mean, just, I do have a question oh, I'd, oh, I'd oh, like. Go. At the very end, no, it'll be a very good end topic when we drink a little Understood. bit more. But uh, what am I watching right now? I don't watch anything. I play video games. I watch movies every so often. Here's what I'll tell you. No one's talking about this show. It's gone under the radar. 
Game of Thrones. Uh, Jean-Vivre Saint Ange has been caught up on Game of Thrones. Okay. And you know, you know that I love this woman. I, I keep it quiet yeah, on the I internet. Do. I don't talk about that often. But now you're about to divorce her because of her opinions on this show. I've never loved her more than when she got to the end of Game of Thrones. She's like, it's just overrated. And I hugged her and kissed her. And I'm like, this is why we're married. I honestly, wow. Greg, it's one of those things I'm just trying my hardest your to just kids, bite my your tongue kids are gonna and suck. avoid. They're like, gonna suck, Jen, huh? yeah. Jen confronted me about it yeah. a couple oh. days ago. She was very mm. drunk. And uh, she confronted it's also me. Also true. But, like Canadian cooking with Greggy, there's going to be some interesting French episodes. Canadian drunk is a bit of and because all the stories and the aboots go away. <laughs> she's, <laughs> a neck. She, she's not that type of Canadian though. She, she oh yeah, she boots. is. is she? Oh, no. oh, oh, boots. I'm sorry. I thought you meant the apologies. The apologies. Oh no, no, no. She's, <laughs> she's sorry. French Canadian. She's a sorry. It's a yeah, thing. yeah, no, no. no. Yeah. She's very French. Um, but she's. She was like Tim. And I'm not even going to try to do her. her, her in it, Tim. But yeah, lot, well, there's a lot of lies in there. Uh, but she's trying to explain to me why she so. thinks that Game of Thrones is just okay. And so, I just like, I just, I just can't have that conversation. Okay, here's 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 where I'm at with it. Um, I I love watching it. I love the ceremony of watching the show. It's Sunday. Lights it's down. Sunday. Sunday is our drink? pasta day. Sous vide. I pasta day. So uh, so I cook my pasta sauce. I make a great bolognese. I do like real beef. All this is from scratch? Uh, yes. So my next step is I've got a great base right now, but I want to start making my own like sauce from scratch. Like mm. the problem is you can only make your sauce from tomatoes in the summer. So I kind of started a little bit too late. Gotcha. Um, but you start from a base and you, you do your, your beef and you do uh, veal. And oh, yeah. and then I use pancetta in, yeah. the, oh, in yeah. the sauce, so like that melts down. It's freaking great. So we make pasta all day. The house smells great all day. And then it's it's you know start off with John Oliver, uh, kind of get a good little you know, kick off, a little yeah. palate cleanser. Yeah. And then when it, when it because it's you know, you know the lights down, the do, 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 and then do, Pam and I do, do. we make up our own lyrics every time. Oh, Thrones, same. Game of fucking Thrones. Same. Do you do the same thing? Thrones. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, now, here What's we John are Stone watching doing? the show. Please end it quickly. Is all... Ballers is next. I <laughs> like <Fuck> Ballers. You. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I love, I would just love to like be on the outside of like just hovering above the earth and, and be able to tune into the cacophony of all the people <laughs> yeah, that are yeah, singing yeah, their yeah. own lyrics to that song. So I love the ceremony of it. I think that Arya's uh, um, storyline is the most compelling. A thousand um, percent. She, She's especially awesome. last. Shut, shut up, she Tim. has become awesome. She has She's become, become awesome. awesome at three seasons of garbage. Just, just garbage. something you can do with a garbage. little nine year old. Do you remember when she had no name? That's what that I mean. Like that's all, where she's all now. of that when she, she was that. when she was at the temple and people were going to scream, "I can't call the blah." I get it, but that whole journey. Um, even even with her being having to give up her sword and having to give up everything and and that whole that was a beautiful metaphor like that was that was an amazing allegory that they used. Um, beyond that, it's fun and it's beautiful and it's really cool uh, and it's it's full of spectacle and I love spectacle, but there's a lot of other stuff that I would rather dig into and and give an hour or hour and a half or whatever of of my time to. But I love watching it. I'm I'm not hating on it at all. You watched last night's episode. I have not watched last night's episode. I, I wasn't talking there. in your microphone. I know. Woo! So I I, so I wasn't. I want to be home. I don't want to watch it on my iPad or whatever. No, you know, so. This, this one out of all I of them know, deserves hear. its proper. No, yeah, be home. Viewing, I, I hear. Be there's, home there's, and just prepare yourself because you can't. You can't walk outside with like you watched last night game of thrones because yeah. the fuck thing was awesome with the shit. I'm like, damn yeah. it. Well, okay, cool. But you know what? That's a sign of a it's, good show. That people want to talk about and are excited about. You don't hear that with other fucking shit. You're okay. great. You're a great point. Hold on. Nobody ever talked about Lost. Oh but, the, but then people shit. first they, two seasons. They hit a of point Lost where people are were amazing. Over it. Yeah, and oh, then I it, remember that final season, sir. We were all talking about it. Here, here's what oh. I think. I think just because it's it's uh, it was over, it permeates through a culture or it creates a culture <laughs> does not necessarily mean that it's good. No, that's absolutely true. I think this is a case where it is. This this is a case I where I was arguing with some people on Twitter about it. It's this. not just the nerds. You know what I mean? I feel like if this if a show is widely loved and is constantly nominated for awards and and is you know highly thought of among critics, I think that's a sign of a good show. I think if it's one or the other, you could make a case against like it. Like Big right. Bang Theory, which is it's won many awards, Emmys and stuff, not critically. What supported. about this? The Bachelor. Fantastic show. Don't even get me started. Let's go. 
But the that, only show better than Game of Thrones. That's <laughs> on TV right God, now. Man. You and Pam. Bachelor in Paradise starting next week. I can't fucking wait. We'll serve and we'll find thing. off. We right. gotta find out. You are a human trash can. I, <laughs> I, 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 true, I love true. Ellen Gale, who's the creator. He, he is the purveyor and the custodian of all things Bachelor. I think he's incredibly uh, bright. He's witty. He's, he's, uh, he's a genius. Um, but you have to Be look at the culture. And I was just saying, you have to look at the culture that The Bachelor has created. Mm-hmm. And Pam can watch it, and she's cool. Because she gets it. There's a distance and a disconnect to it. Um, these aren't normal people. These are, no, these are not normal people. These aren't the, normal values. This is a, yes, exactly. We're throwing ethics and morals out the window, sure. and it's a game show. That's really at the end of it. It's, it's, instead of going through an obstacle course or eating weird shit, you're, you're just... Fucking Sometimes people. doing that too. That's, um, why, that's how Joe Rogan got kicked off the show. Remember that? Because did Joe he, Rogan get kicked off? No. Everyone keeps no, making dude. that joke, but no. I'm like, did he get kicked off? I no, think because we mentioned that in our in an episode of Party. Man. I think no, Joe right. Rogan is it was too intelligent for Fear Factor. Oh sure, yeah, no, he's, sure, he's yeah. a genius. Hundred yeah. um, percent. His comedy is is absolutely brilliant. But I th- I think that y- you you take a step back and you realize that there are. Some people in the country that this is their analog for love. This is their analog for finding love, or this is their uh, so th- that that concerns me a little bit. Um, there are the ravens of the show. See, you got to tie back to Green Game like of the Thrones. Three, the three-eyed raven. That's no, no raven. No <laughs> raven. She was the runner-up last season on The Bachelor. Okay, I don't raven know what that means. Simone was on The Bachelor. <laughs> no, Wait, but raven so Simone raven? is back on Disney. There's what? a That's So Raven sequel series. Is she, the is she a mom? They're rebooting it's everything, living, guys. Living with Raven. And they took forever to do crazy. a Boy Meets World thing. Now they're doing a they're fucking Raven thing. They're fucking banging it out. It's what crazy. about Cory in the House? Cory in the House was the sequel to Hell yeah. That's So Raven. Good what show. What smells so good right now? Joey made pizza. Joey's yeah. making well, We had like 18,000 pizza. pizzas. Yeah. Oh, I think she warmed up that pizza. Yeah. Yeah, then, so real funny. talk, jokes aside, sure. the thing with The Bachelor, and we've talked about this many times, where we all fell in love with MTV Road Rules Real Hell World yeah. Challenge. Hell yeah. yeah. There's just something about the reality TV with competition that is easy to fall in love with. Survivor, The Mole, whatever it is. And at the end of the day, it's the same shit as anyone watching what we're doing right now. It's the same thing. This is reality uh, TV for y- 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 another generation. Yes, but here's the difference. It's voyeurism. Is all it is. This is this is a conversation that's being presented to people, as opposed to a conversation in private that you're eavesdropping on. It's the same reason why people rubberneck when they go down the highway and they see a car crash. We as people want to be able to view and experience death, fear, love, love all of these things sex. from a safe distance. From sex, from a safe distance. That's why we watch horror films. That's why why we ride roller coasters. Is it's because why we all why there's... jump in on internet drama when something yeah. happens, right? When it's not you. When yes. there's something else is happening, some other I two wanna, groups are fighting. Absolutely. I want to know what it's like, what it feels like, because I'm wrestling with that X thing. Um, and, and that to me, it's it's. I don't know if I've, I, I, I don't want to be arrogant and say that I, I see the matrix and I, I see what's happening, but I see why people watch The Bachelor. If she can find love, it's really hard for her. I can. Um, it's the same reason why people watch anything that has to do with weight loss. There's a catharsis that people go through and they're on the journey with people. And even though they're not necessarily doing it, I've seen people be really inspired. That's why one of the best and worst things that ever happened was um, Biggest Loser. Biggest Loser mm. is because it inspired a generation of people to really get active and go, I can do it if you can do it. Th- th- I would watch that shit before I went to go work out because I'm like, I have zero excuse. I have zero. There's a 60 year old man who's lost 150 pounds. I can get in the gym. But you taint that and you realize that it, it absolute power corrupts absolutely. And you can't have something become so successful without it becoming so tainted. And that's what the show was, and it canceled. So it's the same thing that happened when all the people that, um, uh, like the, all the televangelists, started questioning whether or not there was a God because they found that through this guy. So if this guy is bad, is God bad? And mm-hmm. there's no separation between the two. So, well, for me, it was like what you're talking about makes sense in terms of you know crossing that line and going the other way. And for me, it was growing up 
with real world and then the start of road rules. But I remember when the real world was not to say real it was reality television, but it was real people. And it was John, John the cowboy. And it was that time they right. threw David out of the house or whatever. Right. And I forget what he did to Tammy or whatever, but he punched he, her in the car. No, that was that, that right. No, you're the Seattle one is what you're talking about. I'm talking about r- real world. <laughs> I've seen that scene a season two. Times. Apparently, remember that cool, Greg, when he like opened up the, oh, the, the door of the car Greg, and punched you were there. her, slammed the door. Like, you're talking about Seattle, yeah? Okay, yeah. I'm talking about L.A. when it was that David D- Tammy was saying no, and he pulled a blanket off her, mm. and remember, they were like, "That's the end, that's the final line. We got to get rid of you." And Coral, I'll never forget stuff. Coral in the challenge. She was like talking about. I think she was talking about Puck. She's like, and he came in with a machete. He had a machete, and yeah. then in the background there was a fucking machete. And I'm like, <laughs> Holy shit! This guy Puck means business. Watching real, real business. world though, it was like in grounded in reality, and people like, and this is offensive to I would assume to say at some point but even when I talk about like Ghostbusters and the fact that <gasps> with Ghostbusters like I don't think most of those people would be allowed on camera to lead a picture to do all this they're not that definition of pretty right. real world was hey you're Judd Winnick who's now you know a famed comic book art, uh, author he's not like a G- GQ model but he was on he was on the show and they had people that were normal that you looked at you like I see myself in it and then I remember real world Las Vegas that first season of Las Vegas, when all they did was fucking triple kiss and shit, and you're like, triple kiss. This is now Combo lost, breaker. like the gr- the little bit, uh, it, it, three kiss. people kissing at once. Yeah, so it would be two girls and a guy, and they're like, Dah. you guys want to try it or? Kevin, cool, Greg, call me show Andy, <laughs> show on Andy, where the triple kiss, and that was the thing of just like, oh, like now they're just stocking these houses with beautiful, vapid people and booze. And it was like, oh, it wasn't anymore where Judd's like How trying many to be a cartoonist. Can we cause? Exactly. Yeah. Pedro's like leading a cause for AIDS awareness. It was like, oh, these this isn't the same reality show anymore. Well, that led to Jersey Shore well, eventually. Was, oh. Yes, but we could all tie it back to the Kardashians. Yeah. And there's that too. But no, but that's that's my thing with The Bachelor, where it's like what you're saying, I'm sure applies to a right. large amount of the world and a large amount of the viewing population of The Bachelor. But I feel once I realized that my girlfriend is obsessed with The Bachelor. Uh, which opened my eyes because I was like, people fucking watch that show? I had no idea. But then I started realizing everyone watches it. There's so many people. You bring it up, and it's going to be like a, a thing where it's like, I you know someone that's obsessed. Everybody I can't has watch their it. favorites and stuff. Yeah. Everyone I can't has favorites. Watch it everyone because has something to say. But the thing is that they're not uh, looking at it for like, a, oh, they're can they have, they have they're having trouble finding love. I can find it too. But These are mostly people, people are. who have love. Yeah, some people are. But I feel like it's more, the, that show is so brilliantly edited. To fuck with people's emotions. Oh, it's, man. But it's like absolutely. they know what they're doing, and it's when you're in on the joke, when you're Why? in on what it is. And I feel like all the contestants at this point are entirely in on what is happening. There's people, it's wrestling. It's just wrestling yes. yeah. for a different audience. Yes. And that's why I love it. That is the best. Why is it that you can't watch it? Because hey, my, won't let him. my no, my <laughs> don't get any idea. She says she'll divorce me. I will walk through the room. And first of all, to me, I'm a, I'm an adolescent, and and if you give me the opportunity to make a fart sound, I will do it. <laughs> so Game of Thrones <laughs> is just a bevy of riches because there's be. <laughs> I mean, it's just so easy to do. And so there's nothing better than when there's a moment of awkwardness and she's like standing there. She's like, I just don't know how I feel about you. And he goes, and I walk past her and go, she's like, I hear you, but it's just (laughs) perfect. Um, I I will MST3K that to the point where she just got, get, would you just leave the house? Because it drives her crazy. Cause she started like, she there's a there's a friend of ours that we have that that's that's their connection right yeah. they, they they still if the anachronistic version of this would be like they still play Scrabble together or whatever mm-hmm. like this is the thing that gets her to come all the way from Venice or to get my wife to go all the way down there to visit her and that this is their common ground it's the excuse to hang out sure um, and so that's it's, Mondays man it's a real thing. Yes. The finale is tonight. And it's sacred. It's sacred for that. I know. (laughs) So can we wrap this up? Um, If you didn't know. What was your topic? Oh, no, no. We're not wrapping up at all. Please, we're halfway through the show. But no, what you're saying is so right, though. But like what's become a ritual for us (laughs) is is every every Monday when Bachelor's on, it's me and my girlfriend sitting there. But it is the Mr. Science Theater. It is okay. She, she, that's cool. She, enjo- I mean, she's in it, but like, she enjoys me kind of making my dumbass comments and talking shit to the characters, and like, you know, like there'll be an edit that's so clearly telegraphed. I'll be like, "Here's what's about to happen," and then that shit happens, and that's Troy, what we have. If you don't follow mm-hmm. Gia Tap Harris on Twitter, you should Who? because Gia Tap my Harris. Girlfriend. That's her Twitter handle. Gia. 
Gia, oh, wait. Gia's live tweeting of The Bachelor is her live tweeting Tim Shh. reacting to The Bachelor. Yeah. Or The Bachelor right around the That's all she does. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Every week Tim she can't believe this is happening. Blah, blah, blah. It's just like, yeah. Yeah. You, no, it's fun. I love it. Man. It's my favorite thing ever. Gia exactly. Tap Harris. There she is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dude, yeah, your girlfriend, she's awesome, dude. She's she is. like super rad. She really is. She's way too pretty for you. It's very true. I've been saying that <laughs> since. Before I met her. And then I met her, <laughs> sure. and I was like, damn. When you saw her from afar, you're like, I can't talk to that woman. Yeah. She's yeah. too attractive. Yeah, like, she got me hooked just... on The Bachelor, so I'm like, all right. It all worked out. It all worked out. Yeah, and you guys... Uh... I talked so much shit going into it, but any single person out there that likes wrestling and says they don't like The Bachelor, give The Bachelor a fucking shot. Cool, Greg. Have you given The Bachelor a shot yet? Nah, Cool Greg he says, says nah. nah. Dude, you love it, man. Shake his head. You'd fuck yeah. it. If Cool Greg doesn't like it, had cool. a Exactly. On great it. point. But here's the question. Kenny. So she brought you... To bachelor. Into the Bachelor Nation. Is there anything that you brought her into? Oh, Blue yeah. toilet. The internet. <laughs> Just period. Oh, and internet. also we got a really dope toilet that lights up. I have a motion detector in my bathroom now. Anytime you walk like in, UV? my toilet blow lights up blue. It's so cool. Sous okay. vide? <laughs> Kevin's in there making a sous vide in the toilet. <laughs> Guys, the steak's almost done. Um, wait, so do you... I the, here, Here's the thing. I If you go anywhere in Europe, the... Um, uh, yeah, is a thing. Yeah. We're the only country, and like we've talked. One of our first topics that got us in trouble at IGN was, was why don't Americans second episode of Game of Gregory show? Why don't oh. Americans clean their buttholes? And it was about how much I love a good goddamn bidet. Right? Why and don't that why you, you get in trouble? We had how are they going to sell Greg Miller shows if I'm talking about bidets on the on the YouTube? We had find a bidet. bidet exactly. Find a bidet well, supplier. then somebody sent us a bidet. And it, but it was like one of those janky ones you put on the toilet. No, no, no. Mm. there's like the one that I the one that mm. I want is. Oh, you're gonna get the whole toilet. There's actually just like a, a like an adapter thing that you can get, but it's it's a thing. Like to me, it's kind of like a spa for your butthole. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's a it's truth. It's this beautiful, peaceful, serene thing. And I, I love technology. Like I can walk through my house and talk to it. That when I was in seventh grade, I think there was a short story that I read um, by Smart House, where the red friend grows. Superman, Man of Steel. <laughs> Is that it's not Smart House? It's called where the it's probably not Smart House. Smart House is a Disney the rains Channel fell slowly. Movie. Is that what it is? <laughs> um, I thought it'd be Old Yeller, but I, I read not. a great one in in, in 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 grade school about this girl who moved to Mars. Goosebumps, the haunted Goosebumps mask. Thirty nine. And you know, sun only comes by Mars and the side of it so often or whatever. And everybody made fun of her for being the Earth girl. And they locked her accidentally in a closet during the time the sun came through. Anamorphs. Yeah, hell yeah. I don't. I don't know. Can't remember. Dude, I love animorphs. Shout right, out to Tobias. Need, let us know in the comments below. Cool name. Cool the emo name. dude. It was the coolest like the, name. The, he had the Sean Hunter and he hair. He only turned into a hawk. Red tailed <laughs> like, hawk. Like yeah, it was a red tailed hawk. <laughs> what was the name of the weird like blue horse dude? Oh, uh, the Anamite. Yes. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Iceman. Yeah. Oh, Sean yeah. Ashmore. Sean Ashmore was Jake. Yeah. The the leader of the animorphs. Animorphs. Good show, <laughs> Tim. Good show, Greg. I mean, you, you covered, I, you, I uh, you it was only that you were looking at me. I don't know if you noticed or earlier, Anthony and Gruber around. He'll be a guest tomorrow yes. if you're watching live next week. If you're watching on YouTube, I kept trying to yell at you and I go, Come on, Anthony, <laughs> and I just kept screaming Anthony at you. Oh, really? Yeah, but you really? didn't acknowledge it. Neither did his. He was, He's way taller and better looking than me, though. No, that's not true. There will come, it was Ray Bradbury. I'm so sorry. Uh, there will come soft rains. Um, okay. There's a, it was a. From just a literary standpoint, it's a beautiful story because there's no physical character. There's no like, there's no person, human character in the story. You're going through this house as it's automated and it's like making the pot of coffee and it's mm -hmm. doing all of these things. It's a short story. It's brilliant. So, and then the Jetsons came around and I was like, that'd be so cool. And then computer, I always wanted to do like, be able sure. to do that. Um, and so I, I have my whole house as much as can be is is like the whole automated thing. You meant yeah, we have we have an Alexa. It was when Jen moved in, she's like, We gotta get an Alexa. Dude, and I was like, sat, Okay, cool. It sat for a year before I did anything with it. I have five in my house. Yeah. It's honestly to I, I'm so into it now that yeah. it is like I wanna get a small one for the bathroom to be like in the shower and be like, Alexa, play the song or whatever. I have yeah, I Alexa, how do you get your dick out of a train? <laughs> <laughs> what do I do here? <laughs> what do I do here? <laughs> Again? Oh, uh, <laughs> Pulling from your history. <laughs> I'm a big fan, big fan of the Alexa. Yeah, no, it's awesome. So, like, wait, what, it? what level are you using? Your I'm only, oh, yeah. I'm only a big fan because I'm obnoxious and obsessed with myself. And my favorite random fact about this is Alexa knows who I am. If you go, who's Al Tim Gettys? Alexa knows no other kind of funny like, person. Like, it pulls hey, like, no way. who's Tim Gettys? we like, Tim Gettys is a co-founder co of, of Kind of Funny. funny. The Alexa, one who's Greg Miller? I don't know. Pulling up the <laughs> <laughs> I love it. 
this. This is my Aww. one claim to fame. No, like Jen Wan, when we were moving in, we you know when we were dating and she'd be coming down here, I'd be going up there. You know, music such a big music and cooking are such a big part of a relationship. Yeah. And so like to be playing stuff, it was always often like our shitty iPhone speakers, and I'd no. have like wireless speakers. And she's like, when we move in, let's get an Alexa. And I was like, all right. And so we did. And so it's awesome to be like, Alexa, play this, or like skip this, or do that. Or for us, like we just filmed Cooking with Greggy this weekend, yeah. September. Get it early on patreon.com slash kind of funny. And I set every timer with it, right? Where I'm like, hey, Alexa, set this timer. And then Mm -hmm. I'm talking to Nick or whatever. But every time I'd be like, Alexa, set a 15 minute timer. She's like, setting a timer for 15 minutes. I go, future. Yeah. We'll see if it actually makes the edit. My favorite thing about the Alexa or about Google Home or about any of these things is parties. Because you'll be at a party, everyone gets progressively drunker, and it just turns into this thing of, hey, hey, okay, Google. Play it. They just say some shit. You just see what happens. And it's just people screaming over each other. Tell me who my father is. (laughs) (laughs) I highly recommend it. Oh, geez. Okay. So we're going to trying to hack Andy's phone. Phil's got to go home. Um, Andy just left. He got to go to the bathroom. He just went to the bathroom. It's fine. But I tried to hack his phone. Uh, What's your music choice for, for cooking to? Oh, it depends on the mood. Every t- here, you want to know something really weird? Whenever I get in the dishes, when it's time I for don't know, dishes, but you have to. If you ask, don't ask a rhetorical well, question. Let me answer it. Oh, okay, so if you, <laughs> Maybe are, I don't want for know. for Jen and I, for most part, and this is one of the reasons that we're just meant to be together. If we're cooking, it's usually Alexa play country. She just plays hot country off of Spotify, and it's great. And we have a good time. I've too. been making the steak for too long. Gonna get a sous vide and write this song. There I'm you gonna... go. No, no. Fuck you. Country's no. good. You're too fucking cool. Country's man. good. <laughs> my favorite thing about Troy Baker, first off, you just, the way your mind works blows my mind. Second off, it's chaos. I just, you Six probably inches. have experienced more in your life than I think anyone sure. I've ever met. So you just have stories on stories on stories that are relevant. At some point, <laughs> like, just to think about the journey of this podcast. Like, you've actually traveled, like, drove across the fucking country. You America. Do it. You gotta do it. I'm telling you, Tim. It's You're crazy, gonna find Wait, you, 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 you down, cool, Greg? Just me and you? No, dude, do that it. That would be. Up, let's go. I would fucking. <laughs> and, you, and you film it. Pay for that. You film yeah, it. Yeah, of course. Um, but I think. Wait, okay. Here's a great segue. Do you travel with your girl? Uh, to, to shows. We travel to like Texas. Is, now, is I'll, this a thing? I'll jump in here right okay. now to let you know one of the sweetest stories Gia Tap Harris ever told me about Tim Geddes oh. was like. Why is it Tap? They had start. Tapley's her middle name. When they had started dating Gia real Tap early on Harris. in their relationship, they drove to LA. And they didn't listen to music at all. They talked the entire time. They had great conversations. I, like, I wanted so to listen to music, but <laughs> no, nah, I'm just kidding. No, that was the moment she fell in love with. How are you me, feeling? I don't know how says. I'm feeling. Can we just listen to some <laughs> Fall Out Boy? Yeah, that's all I want, um, man. Some of that fucking Pete Wentz is that his name? Yeah, Pete yeah, Wentz, Wentz, Patrick Wentz. Stump, Patrick Stump. I know their names, man. I'm an email kid, dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I never listened. I, to do you know my my aunt Dell taught uh, Pete Wentz? Shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. So whenever you hear me though. talk, when I get in the Nick's car every day on a hot day, I always say it smells like Uncle Scott's car. Now you know Aunt Dell. Aunt Dell. Now I know Pete Wentz. <laughs> <laughs> it all makes sense now. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Troy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> My mind's not as beautiful as yours. <laughs> <laughs> Try to track. Um, it's impossible. No, uh, it is the. Okay, what have, have you gone on a trip yet with your lady? No. With your no. older elderly we're, lady? We're driving to LA this weekend, actually. Nice. Okay. To a friend's wedding. I Which is bullshit. Is traveling a thing bullshit. for you? Bullshit. Like, what, Kevin? No, Jesus. Uh, this To give you a glen- the Friday, all yeah. the cool kids are going to Kevin Coyle's bachelor party in Las Vegas. And it's about to but be ridiculous. I'm Andy going, this guy has a wedding. He has I'm to going go to, to one of my best friend's weddings in L.A. They're gone now. They don't, they don't matter anymore. He keeps he's saying been, best friend, too. We've never heard this guy's name. A, he, my best friend since we were like four years old, what's his Kevin. Middle name? Gerardo. That's a lie. Wow, he just pulled it. Gerardo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Miguel Junior, Gerardo. okay. <laughs> Miguel Gerardo Guerra. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, you're going to miss a fun dude. Vegas, bro. Do you want to come to Vegas? He said I, he can't. I am in Boston. You always have an excuse. I would. You know I, mean? I, I seriously. He's always I would doing totally voices. And stuff. Be I totally be there. I would totally be there. Shenanigans. I mean, I recommend you listen to not next week's episode of Game of a Great okay. Show. Is that a the following weeks? We're definitely going to get into the stories of it. And Andy, you should be there too. Wait, wait, so wait. You are you are you guys going to shoot from there? Are you going to? No. This can't be. This can't be, <laughs> this can't be filmed, Stay sir. Our social media accounts. There'll be Wait, some. So where are you? Something. Can we? Can you say where you're staying? No, we don't want to okay, say that on camera. Okay, no, we're gonna no, do that no. afterwards. What I do want to point out that it'll be actually totally a really Bellagio. good episode. <laughs> so again, to what he's saying for programming note, tomorrow live we're recording with Anthony Gruber. So that'll be the week after Troy's. 
But the one we're recording, where it'll be the Kevin ba- uh, Kevin Goldwell Bachelor story, is Meg Turney. So that'll be a great <laughs> fucking pairing for everything that's about to wait, be wait, told. Wait, Meg Turney? Yeah, you ever heard of her? Yeah. She's going to be on the show. That's former, awesome. Former co-worker of mine, because I used to work right, for... just let it go. Are they still you, hiring? You here now. Still no, hiring? they're not. They said they're they're having a lot of tr- oh, okay, trouble. Gotcha. Okay. They wish they had a, a content plan as strong as we did <laughs> with all your party modes that are doing so well. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Good segue. <laughs> We're just trying to make sure Andy doesn't leave ever. Understood. <laughs> because it's one of those... Andy will. is too talented. Uh, yeah. Wait. I oh, oh, so... This is the Ladies. question. Is it... Is traveling... Uh, uh, is that your thing? Like, it is my thing. I, I don't feel... I feel so comfortable on a plane. I love flying. I love the whole process of flying. I love it. Okay. You're a monster. I, I do. I, I, I do. Love, no, I love no, 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 no. Are you not? I hate it. Why? I hate it so much. Why? You're, you're cramped. Okay. So here's the I've key. I've been in first class once. Okay. That's the key. The key is they Spending all suck. a lot of money. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Not necessarily. Just them. commit to somebody. Now, if you're like Greg and I, you, you, you hit your star or hit your wagon to the wrong star and they get bought by Alaskan Airlines. Now, for the record, though, you know, every time I fly this. Alaska, I get upgraded to first class now because I'm Virgin America Gold. So it does transfer. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I know your, your points and everything transfer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't know if your status Your did. status does. Your okay. status. I have my Alaska right. VIP, whatever. I was but late. then I just complained about American Airlines once, they and they up. moved the they gate and got me up, a cart dude. to drive me. I think I might switch over there. We've never told the story. On the way to We've I, never told the, the story. Andy story. Oh. On the way to Rooster Teeth, yes. to RTX, I was, uh, I was obnoxiously late. It was like the most Andy move ever. No, so no, I, yeah. get, a, I get a text. So Andy's the most timid, like, Are you I don't want to deal with problems. Huh? No, no, no. Check this out, Troy. His girlfriend's this is ridiculous. <laughs> no. I get a text. Like, eventually, me, Nick, Nick's wife, and Gia get into the, the gate, and we're all hanging out just waiting for this thing. And Nick's like, "Is what's up with Andy? Is he going to be here? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm sure he's fine. Like, we're, we don't need to worry. I get a text from Andy. Hey, when are you guys going to get here? I'm like, oh, we're here, dude. We're like in the gate. And he's like, oh, man, I've been waiting for you guys out at, before security. Now, that's a great like, question. Why, why would that happen? for like 40 minutes. Why? Why, so, why would you wait before okay, security? So check it out. So I understand this is your first work trip no, with on, us ever. We fucked up. We should I've talk to you. I've never had anybody buy tickets for me. Right. I've never had a company buy plane tickets. I'm used to like oh, so showing when, up. Well, I'm sorry. When Big Bad Rooster Teeth was sending you all over the world to meet your fans, they weren't sending well, you Well, I out? was showing up with employees at oh, that point. Okay. So, th- so this time I showed up by myself, right? I didn't know I could fucking just swipe a card and have my identification like fucking pop up on the yeah, screen like or whatever. Fucking minority so report. I'm waiting. So I'm waiting for Nick Way and to bring Tim. It back. I've been waiting for Nick and Tim. I got there like an hour and 20 minutes before the plane is about to take off. Um, and I'm just waiting. I'm like, man, where are these? And eventually, I'm like, I got to text them because, like, they're not here yet. I got to figure out what the fuck to do, right? Um, and I've taken, I've been on several planes, right? Like, I know the process. <laughs> I'll take it. I've been on I've several been on planes. Several, which <laughs> is actually three. At least seven. At least seven. <laughs> three. So, so I don't but know. Four that you is can, many. Two I is, didn't a, know that I could three just, is a few, actually. <laughs> so I didn't know that I could swipe several. my debit card, right? So eventually, I text him. I'm like, hey, uh, are y'all here? And he's like, yeah, we've been here. I was like, oh, fuck. By this point, the line to check a bag is so packed, and I'm like... 30. How long are you gone for? Huh? How long are you gone for? Um, Like four days. Borderline. I always take a checking. bag. I have to take my hairspray. You think this happens naturally, Troy? You product. think this happens Baby, naturally? Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can get that shit down. I can tell you. Okay, so I'm like, all right, this line's fucking packed. And Tim texts me, he's like, dude... There's a red carpet area from Virgin America that they'll just like go over there and like tell them that you're really desperate. I was like, all right, fuck, I got to do this. Like, and I hate doing this, Troy. I hate doing this. I hate being the guy that's like trying to get something for free or trying to like. I hear you. At, like, I hate that shit, dude. Even when I was a fan of Kind of Funny, I hated talking to them because I'm like, I don't want to be a burden to these dudes. Like, I'm just a fan. Like, I don't need to go say hi. If they're busy, they're fucking busy. I'll talk to them whenever, you know. Um, I just hate being that dude. So I had to fucking, I had to bite the bullet and I went to the red carpet area, right? And there's like one person in front of me as opposed to like the 15 people in line for the check bags. And I'm walking up. I have a Virgin America card, a Virgin America credit card. Not the like top level one. No, no, no. Just like one. the standard like silver member or whatever. So I walk up and I'm like, hey, I'm uh, here to get my thing. And I just like show her the card. She's like, oh, okay. But I, you know, I had to act confident. Right? I had to act like sure. I belong there. Exactly. So I show her the, like you're supposed to be there. I show her the card and she's like, Oh, are you a Virgin or are you an Alaskan card member? And I was like, no, but I, I'm Virgin America. So I just like kind of like did that thing. She was like, 
okay, uh, when's your flight? When does your flight leave? I was like, um, like 20 minutes. And she was like, okay, well, we got to get you out of here. We, we got to go. So like Tim texts me, hey, we warned everybody that you are running very, very late. We warned the people at the gate that you are like on your way. So I do the fu- I check my bag and it's all good. She's like, all right, we got to priority you. You checked your bag 20 minutes before your flight? <laughs> yeah. And she was like, hey, this is priority. We got to get it on there. So then I run. Am I right? So so then I run to the security area, (laughs) and the woman in the security line is like, uh, she's like, when does your flight leave? I was like, "Uh, 20 minutes. She's like, well, there's something in your bag that we need to check in your backpack, your carry on, right? Fucking shit. So she looks at it. Two gallon jug of water. (laughs) (laughs) But it's not water, it's urine for no reason. I forgot it was. Oh, you know what it was? It was my my acne wipes. It's my acne wipes. It sort of like blew the trigger or whatever. So she's like, when did your flight leave? I was like, oh, like fucking 10 minutes. She's like, oh God, we got to get you out of here. Gave me the thing. I'm fucking. doesn't s- matter if you have a bomb. We nah, got to get, we we gotta gotta get, get you. you to your so I'm, miss your flight. To, I'm sprinting to the fucking plane. Just running like this, Greg Miller. I'm sprinting. It's a horrible like way to Kermit run. Kermit the right. Frog. <laughs> running like Kermit <laughs> yeah. the Frog. Like, yeah. So I'm running and she's like, uh, and as I'm getting to the gate, the guy's like, Andy Cortez, you're running late. And I was like, I sure am. So I like got there and thankfully everything was good or whatever. But. Dude, that's the most nervous I've ever been before a flight. I've never had that happen to me in my Dude. life. Now, being on the other side of it, I had to deal with Nick, who, I don't know if <laughs> Nick does not oh, deal well with this. Man, He's like, no, where's Andy? No. Why is Andy here? And I'm trying to be cool. I'm trying to be like, no, Andy got this, man. Andy him, got man. this. Meanwhile, I'm like fucking texting. I'm going to read you guys the text between oh, me, wow, here we me go. and Andy. Little did you know, I was sitting, like, waiting well, for, like, an hour. You're like exactly. Spider-Man homecoming so, in front like, of SFO. Part of it, though, is I went up to the dude, and I was like, hey, man, I'm just letting you know. One of my friends is running late. Can we stall this plane as long as humanly possible? And he, he was a cool dude. He's like, you know what? We'll do what we can, but we have to leave at this certain time. There's nothing, no way around He's like, it. look, Alaska's like, about to name? can my ass. And I, was I don't like, care. I was like, well, I call Alaska him Alaska doesn't like Mexico. I was like, I call <laughs> wow. him Andy, but like his, his name is actually, I was like, Andres. I can't say it correctly. <laughs> Andres. I was like, I'm not even going to try, but it's. A N D dress. It's like undress. Yeah. yeah, it's like undress. Yeah, and I was like, I'm not even gonna check it. There's a fun way you say it that I just can't do. Yeah, and I'm like, so just call him Andy if you see him. So that's why he called you Andy. But let's go through here. Uh, <laughs> you just go at 9:35 a.m. You're not here yet, right? <laughs> I was really nervous. <laughs> and I go, yeah, we are. <laughs> oh fuck, I've been waiting out near the line. We're at the gate. I don't have the confirmation in for anything. Just swipe your credit card in the thing. And then, like, I send him the confirmation picture. And he goes, man, I'm an idiot. I'm waiting in line now to check my bag. I've been here since 830. <laughs> LOL. I'm like, Not LOL. Not <laughs> LOL. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> tell them you're running late. If there's no line on the red carpet area, I would just go there and tell them you're fucked. <laughs> he sends me a picture of, uh, like, how long the line is. It's packed here. I'm like, no, 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 no. The red carpet. I don't know what that is. <laughs> the pre-pad bag check. I'm like, the red. line for Virgin Gold people. There's an actual red card. And, and I look, there it is. <laughs> I'm on it. Let me check. Okay. They let me do it. In line for security. I'm like, they just started boring. You got to be aggressive, man. He goes, KK. <laughs> and I was like, ask people if you can cut. You got this. How far out are you? I asked them to stall as much as possible. You got four minutes. <laughs> Dude, but you were, so you were asking me this stuff as I was getting in line for yeah. security. I'm just looking at my phone like, I don't want to, like, I'm yeah. so like, I'm so nervous about missing this flight. And then we all were on the flight. And I, cause, Andy Cortez gets on. Cause check it out. Like, I'm like, go. I've been a fan of Rooster Teeth podcast forever. And all they always talk about is like, problems with flights and like problems with being late to their check-in or whatever and like this whole time I've been so proud that like on the 15 flights I've taken in my lifetime oh now it's 15 I've never had to worry about being late and this is the one time that I was like I fucked this up for me it's the biggest Hi, change about hey how are you good, good. to see you Trump. <laughs> it's the biggest change about what kind of funny's become in the way that it's no longer just what was the four of us, the five of us. <laughs> and we brought all these. Well, it's because we were all so seasoned at traveling that why would I ever think to explain to him how to get on a plane? And it wasn't until we were in the. Because this is before. You know where the story's going? No. Where, where I, I, Andy, I should I didn't think I'd have to tell him just because I, I think of Andy as a full blown adult who knows what he's doing. Why would wow. he have to be told about this? Wow. But it was when wow. we were packing up to go to E3. And we're all going to come to work, do some work, and then go to E3. And Cool Greg shows up. Cool Greg shows up with a plastic shopping bag full of clothes. <laughs> and we were like, what's that? And he's like, it's my clothes for the week in LA. And we're like, we got to get you is. some kind of bag. Did it bend him a little bit? He 
thought he had a backpack at home. The guy at the Toomey store at, at the airport was like, finally, there's a reason why I'm here. Oh, no, no. We took care of him before that. It, he he came here thinking we didn't have some kind of bag. We went in into the closet, in the giveaway closet, and we had uh, these Think Geek uh, Zelda shields. And oh so we took one of those from Breath of the Wild and stuffed all his clothes It's a Zelda <laughs> shield, but it's a backpack. So it's, it's a circular backpack. I dig it. About like three inches deep, maybe. You know, he packed it full. So here it is. That's favorite, the one right there. Yeah. Yeah. That's show, the one. show the people. Show the audience too. Yeah. My favorite thing about it was when we were at the airport and it came out of the Thank security, the security fucking, um, <laughs> Whatever the hell yeah, it's called. The, yeah. the, what's Conveyor it called? Belt. Conveyor, Conveyor belt. belt. And it falls off and it rolls away like 15. <laughs> yeah. no As I was waiting there, I see Cool Greg's bag like fucking roll three feet. <laughs> Yo, that's mine. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it good, fit him. Myself. It fit Cool Greg. And then yeah, we went sure to the sex did. dungeon. Everything was fine. What's this topic about? <laughs> Troy Baker. This whole show. This I was whole... just wondering. I, the whole point of me even bringing this up is that if travel is a thing for you, like if you want to do that, I cannot recommend traveling with your partner. Mm. If on a romance, the lady. Yeah, you just, you, you need to know what you're getting into. Like, I did that one of the first things we did. I was like, let's go on a plan together. How, how, how first? Not your like second date, right? Like you, this is beyond like, ooh, we're, we're something special. Maybe a month in? Okay. okay. We went to Vegas. Uh, and then I was like, okay, you're cool. Now I need to say you travel internationally. Mm. So within a couple months we did, and she could correct me, uh, but I know for, for a fact uh, was uh, New Year's Eve. The, like we started dating in October, so that New Year's Eve we were in Mexico, and I was like, I need to say you travel. I want to see you go through like customs. I want to see you like pack, like fucking the Troy Baker trials. Here. Like, yeah, 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 because yeah. I was like, look, this is a thing for me. Like I, I love traveling. I believe. Look, we have looked for trillions of miles in every direction and we still haven't found a place like this. So I believe that you have to explore every inch of this planet. And there's something that's, first of all, something so, that is so humbling when you go around the world and you see both the, the similarities um, and the differences and you realize that you fit into this much larger, it gives you a, a more of a macro view of who we are as, as a, as a people and you're not so closed off and, and you also see that everybody struggles with the same things. And so you're just kind of like all connected in that. So that helps. But as far as like traveling with your partner, yeah. there's nothing to me that's better about that because when you go to some place that's, that's foreign and the only thing that's familiar is the person that you're with a, that better be a really good hang and B it just galvanizes the two of you because you're, you're like, let's get lost together. And, and you feel more adventurous. And you're a little sure. bit more whimsical. Um, and some of the best experiences we've had, like the first time that Pam and I went to Paris, um, we're sitting at this little sidewalk cafe. And I'm like, this is this. I've been waiting to come back since I was 13 years old with, a, with my lady in Paris. Like, this is what I've been waiting for. And we're sitting there. And it's this beautiful spot. And they're bringing us wine. We got bread and cheese and shit. And this guy walks up. Was it Alfred? And he goes, it, it was Alfred. Just like in Dark Knight Rises, yeah. man. Great Never. movie. Great movie. Yeah. Terrible movie. Yeah. I would look movie. across and see your face. <laughs> you. right, no, terrible. <laughs> terrible. Just in the movie when he flies off. Ah, damn it. Uh, but no, this guy comes over. He's like, excuse me, monsieur. Uh, no, no, no. And he holds it this sign. He like points to us. Like, I don't, I, don't, I don't know what you're saying, man. Sorry. He's like, okay. And he leaves. And the, uh, the guy that was taking care of us comes over and he goes... Who is that? I was like, oh, just some guy who's asking for money or something. He goes, did you have anything on the table? Went, no, I didn't. Son of a bitch, where's my phone? Oh. And he put down the sign, grabbed the phone, oh. leaves the fight blue. Oh. And so there I am in Paris, no phone. Motherfucker. And I went, I started to run after the guy and I looked, I was like, okay, I'm in Paris with my girl on a beautiful day. I have two options here. I can be a douchebag and go, I'm going to fucking go chase that guy down and get my phone back. Never going to find the guy. Telltale choices came up right, right here. Yeah. <laughs> or do I go back to her and go, let's get another bottle of wine. And she thinks I am cool as fuck. This guy and can afford multiple phones. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we did. It's a $600 nice. phone. And it's, one of my, it's my favorite, one of my favorite memories in Paris. So I just, I think that, that traveling with your partner, if that's a thing for you, if you don't give a shit and you're like, I don't know, I just want to live on a farm and like not do anything, then don't worry about it. But if it is a thing for you, 
get in a car yeah, or yeah. get See, on I'm a plane. A Farm, maybe not, but like somewhere with a computer and a bed. I'm you have to bait to people into stealing your phone, Tim. Yeah. Blue toilet. Like, hey, you want this? Now, yeah. I will tell you a story, though, Troy. <laughs> I did Please tell me a story, Tim. Get First it. time I ever had a flight with my girlfriend, mm -hmm. Gia Tap Harris, uh, we were flying to Austin, and I had to understand how she is on a flight, which is very cuddly, which I'm like, all right, cool, I'll deal with this. Uh, we watched. <laughs> Don't even start. Don't even start. We watched a movie called Batman Begins. Oh, I've heard of it. And now I've seen this movie. Foreign film. Foreign film. Yeah, I still give you a good window into Gia Tap Harris. So earlier you asked me, did I teach Gia anything? She brought me the Bachelor. <laughs> what did I bring her? I brought so, her the internet. Like, what's this guy's deal? He yeah, dresses brought, up at night. Well, hold on. <laughs> and then I brought her. I brought her the Batman. So we're watching Batman Begins, and there's a there's a pivotal moment in that film where um, there are two parents in an alley with a young mm. Bruce Wayne, mm. and they get shot and yeah. die. Whoa, she spoilers. She audibly gasps. Could oh not my God, believe it kill. that Bruce Wayne's <laughs> parents were dead, oh and that's God. what made it Batman. <laughs> and I was like, I had to pause that's it. That's going to fuck with him. <laughs> I loved it so much. I hope he bounces back from this. I hope he doesn't hold it forever. What happens? Does he go to an orphanage? Oh, my God. It was so good, though. I had to stop and be like, Nick. She didn't know. <laughs> she didn't fucking know. She's like the re soft reboot of Encino but Man. Where she so just like missed everything. <laughs> her first introduction to superheroes being Nolan's trilogy. Oh wow, what a bar! Is just I well, mean, it, the first two movies. Fuck you. It fucked the over. Everyone's good. Everything. Everything, man. No, come on. Defensively, the third movie. I don't even think Nolan wanted to make that movie. Yeah. And Jesus he's Christ. like Jesus talented. Christ. It's not just me saying so, it. No, okay, Troy. It was an amalgamation of a Is whole he? bunch of stuff. You weren't sure what you wanted Dark to do. Dark Knight Rises or Batman v Superman. What's the better movie? Dark Knight Rises. Thank 100%. you. 100%. Thank you. That's all that really but you, See, you won't get an honest answer out of him because it has Superman in it. Yeah, I know. It's the better we Superman. Know. Movie. could be blowing an what, elephant. What? Here's the holding up a Nazi flag and be like, I mean, it's still good. It's an interesting <laughs> interpretation of the character. <laughs> You're a fucker. You're a fucker. I'm just saying, for Dark Knight Rises, Word. it wasn't a good Nolan Batman and it wasn't a good comic book movie. And again, I will to this day, I will always say I've said this since that movie happened. I this is not a Batman v Superman thing. I will always come up and be like, I like Batman v Superman better, right? I think it's a Wait, better comic book movie. Your mom's name was Martha too? <laughs> There's a lot of level there. Do you understand? Because Bruce is a human. And this is the first time he sees the alien, Kal El, as a human. No, I get Clark it. Kent. I don't know if you do. I need to get <laughs> I need she goes to the chopper. Where are you going? Go get her to Gotham. Just, just right over there. there I can, I can drop you off if you guys there. are busy. Yeah. Had no idea that there was a river separating Gotham from Metropolis. It looks like your Dark Knight has choices. betrayed you, Greg. No, because we're still together. That Dark Knight Returns isn't a good movie. No, I, I'm not saying that it's a great movie. I'm it's saying that it's better movie. than Batman vs. Oh, that's Two, your right? only argument? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, well, we, it's a better, that I, it's that a I don't know. Let's get. Just I want to be on the same page with you. Dark Knight Rises. Is it a bad movie? No. Or is it just oh, not you're a fucking idiot. It's a bad movie at all. Can you trust this guy? He doesn't like cheese. Dude. <laughs> I, what? The, the me, dark, if you guys want to talk about Game of Thrones being overhyped, Dark on. Knight Rises hate is on a whole other level of like, let me you put guys this need out to watch you. the movie again. Mm -hmm. Bane goes into the, like, <laughs> they go into the stock trading center, right? Yeah. Here comes a really cool Thank moment. You. He's going to tank the market. He's going to, no, he's going to take every hostage and blow stuff up. But, okay, so there's that too. He goes in before the market opens, right? And then he's there for 15 minutes and leaves it's pitch black. and it's pitch black. Why? Because we got to show the Batwing. Lazy writing. He traps the all the cops underneath there and they all just come out fucking clean shaven. Nolan was in a rush, guys. <laughs> Minor issues. It's a fucking movie. I don't think he, he was busy movie. working on Nurse Seller. But in you, here, Kevin. no, this is my thing. This is my thing. Every stop for a second, for some reason. My problem with the small things we're calling out, yeah, there are small things. They're dumb. Nolan did such a great job with the first Absolutely. two movies Absolutely. of crafting a universe that was so this. fucking real. Rises is not nearly as good as Begins or Dark Knight. I would never argue that. It's but just to argue that it what's is your a real name, movie? Robin? Oh, he's uh, good with that. That's it, fun. That is. I will fight it's people. Not. That no, is no, no, fun. No, no. It's I not fun. Fight. It's, it's I will just. Fight you. I felt it is fine. Like, I've been waiting for this for a long time. Yeah, yeah, let's go, no, baby. No, no, no. Step up to the plate, slugger. Kevin, this isn't about you. Kevin's my dude. He's my muscle. 
<laughs> he just had to take his shirt off. What Look what you did. <laughs> this is like, I feel like I'm at the show. weirdest Thanksgiving dinner right now. <laughs> The one we've in. all been at. Uncle Greg is just like, you, 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 he starts crying for no reason. <laughs> and dessert fair. hasn't That's even all come fair. yet. That's fair. And my Uncle Carlos I, from Arizona that you mentioned Have you earlier. ever seen? No, oh, you're, you like the, you're like the new boyfriend that my sister's <laughs> dating that I haven't quite figured out I want to be cool with. But you like go outside every once in a while to go smoke. <laughs> and mm. mom's weird about it, but I kind of want to have like, a cigarette oh, with you too. Oh, he likes Metal Gear Solid. Cool. Um, <laughs> I, I, uh, have you seen Following? No. Okay. If you want to, to me, if you want to distill Christopher Nolan down to his quintessence, he and Jonathan Nolan both watch his first movie, which is called Following. It's black and white. Um, it of makes it, is. it makes Memento look like a, a, it is linear. Mm -hmm. It will fuck with you. It is beautiful Hitchcock. Um, great storytelling character driven movie um, and it's all about a guy who get becomes obsessed with following people and one day he follows the wrong person Ooh. that's it Twitter Ooh. the prequel oh. yeah this where do you stand on the prestige Okay, so this was a. I don't know why I touched. You I was like, I was a, <laughs> do I have strong opinions about the Prestige? I don't know about. What do you, how do you feel about the Prestige? Um, so good. We got to bring Bourbon back to the game we're going to show. I'm saying it now. This we did it on the Kevin <laughs> show, and it was nonsense by the end. So we were all speaking in the tongues. <laughs> Shundai. Um, I think it's a great movie. It's a great movie. Yeah, I think that. First of all, you got David Bowie. Yes, as Nikola Tesla. As Tesla. Beautiful. Um, this is the magician movie? Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. You, uh, but this is like the weird thing where the, it was early 2000s, but like late 90s, early 2000s, there was a whole thing that was like, we offered a choice A and a choice B. We had a Coke and a Pepsi for every movie. You had Armageddon, you had Deep Impact. Mm -hmm. You had The Prestige, and then you had The Illusionist. The Illusionist. You had all these different choices. It was like, it was probably the most frustrating time for writers in Hollywood Oh, what was a volcano or uh, the uh, core? No, 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 no. Uh, or um, Dante's, close, Dante's Peak. Dante's Peak. Oh, there you go. Bam! I can do my shitty movies <laughs> yeah. all day long, yeah. dude. Dante's Peak. They got over that death really quickly, by the way. All right, keep going. With the grandmother? <laughs> no, no, no. With the main dude in Dante's Dante? Peak. Dante? Like, no, no, no. Maybe no, no. It wasn't Dante's, Dante's, Dante's Peak. Peak is the one with Pierce Brosnan. No, I'm thinking of volcano. the core. I'm thinking of the core. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, where they get crushed? They, they fucking, man. They they got over that death really they quick. Did. Do Delroy Lindo? Yes. Burned up? <laughs> yeah. Delroy Lindo. Whoop. I'm going to go pull that one off of IMDb. Yeah. Um, Bye, Tim. Bye, Tim. Where's Tim going? Bathroom. He's going to go pee-pee. Uh, it's twice. No, no that he was went, first. I went first. first. Time, yeah. Now um, Andy's got to carry the show. I'm afraid that if I if I leave, like I will be so far out of the conversation. I'll come in and I was like, it's kind of like we are moving in. quickly. You come back <laughs> and we'll talk about like M. Night Shyamalan's <laughs> Avatar. <laughs> no, that's even still linear from this. Um... Oh, hold on, hold on. What? What am Tim's I Tim's gone. Okay. Andy's in. Andy's in. Let him throw something out. Let's talk okay, about go. what Andy wants to talk about. Is this a new topic? I mean, well, the, the whole Maybe. show has just been... Maybe not. It's just been rambling. Pop shots. What do you want to know about? Uh, what do I want to know about Troy? Sure. What are you talking about? Sure. Um, I'm well, saying, Andy, there's a Game Over Greggy show blank page in front of you. Say something and we'll all keep vibing off of it. If okay. you keep sure, killing sure. the vibe like you're killing gotcha. it... Gum. Shut up, Kevin. So a few weeks ago, Trident <laughs> oh, announced. God, don't do the gum stuff. Trident, oh, are you serious? We're going into gum right now. Trident announced that they have unveiled a brand new flavor. Well, that they have improved Come. their flavoring. Jesus. That their flavoring is better than ever before. But I don't really want to. Come. We'll move on to another Come. subject. Come. We're he's, not about taking, he's not taking it seriously. We'll no, 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 no. Hold on. Go with that for a second. You can't let's stop Troy he, once the train leaves the station. Why do you have the train leave the station? Buy the ticket, take the ride, baby. So let's say that there was bubble fl or there were there was gum. There was cum flavored gum. Where are we about Here to Here we do go. That right There's now? cum flavored gum. Troy, let me let, let Hold me Hold on. Let me preface you. Have you. Cum Shut flavored, up. you have cum flavored <laughs> gum. Cum flavored gum. Um tastes like pineapple. And you're you're like talking to a chick and you're Hold at, on, time at, out. at a bar. Where we are right cum flavored gum. Well, right. You have cum flavored, cum -flavored gum. gum, so you're, you're talking there, to a chick at a bar. Talking to a chick at a bar, and she's like, I know I had such a great time. Anyway, and she puts that in her mouth. Pops a cum flavored gum. What are you what's going through your head? Um, I think that I'm gonna have a great night. Or do you go, I need to leave? Oh. 
Wait, what? Oh. It's kind of like the thing she where had a girl it on her. She, she that was her like, story. This is like this. You're I love saying this in so this much. universe, there's a trident that is cum flavor. <laughs> in this Nolan universe, it's on the store shelves. You pick it up, you're fine. She got cum flavor gum. <laughs> okay. And and like you're with a girl, she's like, I, wait, wait, it was so funny. And I was watching it, and she puts it in the gut, and you see that it's cum flavor gum. Cum she flavor. tells you this is the first time you no, no, heard no, 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 no. We live no in a universe where this exists. You make a snapshot. Batman in flies by in the bat wing. You don't bat an eye. That's just life here. You see cum flavored gum on the box. What do you do? What do you do? He goes, I'm going to have a great night. What I'm like, that? are you? <laughs> was that yeah, he outfit? jumped to conclusion. It was like a Matthew McConaughey. Oh, because oh, she likes cum flavor. Yes. No one, this still. is revealing about you. You're like, automatically assume if she likes this. I'm going to have a good night. You're going to have a good night. Yeah. So whenever you're, whenever you're, when, you're yeah, at a you're bar, right. the she woman like, breaks out gum, takes strawberry. Like, oh, we're going to strawberry patch tonight. We're picking some strawberries. <laughs> I mean, wow. What point. are you fucking That's talking really about? Good you point. monster social flavor doesn't indicate <laughs> anything about anything. There's nothing about the activity. She's not gonna go out and like you know. I'm gonna. I want to pick strawberries. Yep. Exactly. No, but to be fair. To be fair. I mean, I, I agree with the message being said. Oh, here. I wish there was a live chat window that I could see right now. Because I just want to see <laughs> no, all the girls going. No, 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 I just like the flavor. No, that's the thing, though, is that strawberry is a normal thing. What if a dude in this universe come in? Hold on. What if a dude Hold did that? Kid, are you like, dude, are you gay? No. Ooh, He's just like, I like too. the flavor. Have you not tasted your own cum? No, man. Now, here's my thing. I haven't either. <laughs> we talked about this on the show recently on the morning show. Someone was like, have you ever tasted your own cum? And I was like, I haven't. I can't believe I no. haven't, though. But since it's then. It's on my to-do list. Since then, yeah. I, feel no, like I, still have I feel like I may have accidentally. I want to do a kind of funny react. There's no accident. See, that's like, oh, like, no. Like, there's like, definitely <laughs> accidentally. <laughs> like, I left a triplet somewhere. And then I, like, ate some chicken wings. I've only hit I myself like, in the when face did you, once. When did you leave a driblet? Didn't wash? Come on, bro. I mean, I'm very negligent. <laughs> Ish. It's just all over me. Anyway, I was having swings, and oh wow, I thought that was like, blue oh, cheese. Oh, it's on my chest. Like, let me just no, no. I, um, like I, th I think this is a very fascinating thing because, again, if you saw a chick that that popped out of her mouth, or if you're hanging out with a dude and you just put that in his mouth, the what automatic is the assumption is that a she's gonna blow me, or b my boy's gay. I don't think so. You just Here's like my, the my Here's the thing. Flavored things, nine out of ten times, don't taste like the thing they're supposed to taste like. Oh, true. Like watermelon. Like, uh, Panda oh, watermelon. Express doesn't taste oh like Chinese God. food. Oh, what very is? good point. Panda Express. Very good point. Chinese food. <laughs> it is not Chinese. Food. Very That's good. Why point. It doesn't cherry. taste like it. Cherry doesn't taste like cherry. Cherry no. don't taste like cherry. Yeah. Cherry coke. Facts. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Facts. Come. Probably doesn't taste well, like. How cum. do we know the? How taste? would you know? How do we know? That's another good point. I, another I good still point. don't know. I, I still feel like I want to taste my own cum. This, what you guys have done here <laughs> is right. You, the problem is you're not tackling this from the right method. You've currently. You're you're talking about it as if it I was feel like easy. I'm the only adult at this table right now too because you guys are hammer drunk. It's I'm amazing. not hammer drunk. I feel <laughs> right. like it's the current thing of like if we went there and bought it, you could buy the cum gum right now, right? right. Cum gum, <laughs> cum gum. I love that I get to do this Wait, conversation. Was this gum thing your fault? Yes, a thousand percent. It's his fault. Kevin, Kevin said gum. He said Trident is, is unveiling a new flavor, and I went cum flavored gum. What you've inadvertently done is written an episode of Sliders. Where we've walked into the universe <laughs> where wow. cum gum is a thing, where it's odd to us. Black but mirror. clearly they all like cum enough this in the flavor of cum that it's there. Yeah, hundred percent. A hundred percent. Here's the thing though, cum can't taste that bad. No. Uh, Not I at think, all. I think this is an extra life goal. It's salty and stuff. What 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 is the goal? No. Somebody the taste goal. their own cum. No, I yeah. will taste my own cum. You guys I'm genuinely not for the interested big, at this point. Children. So you're telling me if we What's hit up, uh, Kevin? if we not hit a hundred thousand dollars, you'll taste your own if cum. If we hit a hundred thousand dollars, I will try my own cum. Live everybody, on the air? Do, everybody. Well, he's gonna go to the bathroom. Tim, do you know no, that a hundred thousand dollars is not yeah. out of reach? <laughs> We've hit like, bro, that's like a. Yeah, I think yeah. last year you guys hit 86. like eighty something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta hit a hundred. This yeah. has to be like two hundred. We're setting. <laughs> no, fuck that. We're setting the bar. I gotta do this. You shit. guys heard break it this here out first. If we hit that, he'll taste his own cum. I'll dye all of my hair blue again. At a hundred thousand dollars. Wow, those are like. Totally disparate things. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, hey man, I'm playing ball. All right, I'm getting out here. Andy, you have I'll to throw you on this shit. too. Andy, what's up? You got to taste my cum too. No, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> in addition to that, skeet, in skeet, skeet, that, skeet, skeet. Both of us, what's up? Will mm -mm. dye our tips blonde for boy orgy because we know Nick won't. Blonde. Just the tips. Just the tips. Just the yeah. tips. Just to okay. see if it feels I'm good. Down. For, uh, so, Troy, we have a boy band named Boy Orgy. Oh, I know this. You would have known if you um, came. Kind of funny. Last three. I couldn't be there. If I you want to be the fourth Joey. member, let us know. Okay. Well, fifth. 
Fifth. Xavier Woods. Oh, Xavier Woods wants to be the fourth We haven't actually offered him the position yet, but I want to be the one who never joined but got kicked out already. Okay. Okay. You know what I mean? That's yeah. fine. Like, and automatically went on like, to do a solo career. It broke career. down in the, no, in the negotiations portion of it. I'm <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and the negotiations. In, in defense of, of uh, in, the, in the negotiations is the hard word to say. I did not have. Sex. Sex or I did not woman. have. That's fantastic in the Oval Office. Has <laughs> anyone here tasted their own cum? Cool, Greg. Dude, you're Hard not no going to get that one. No, you're, I mean, I would honestly tell you. I know you would. Yeah. I can't believe Kevin Is has this it. on the level of like, happened. I can't Were you the one who it? farted? No. That, no. There, there, to me, there's a difference between like, I farted in an elevator and there was a night at home when that I said. That I shot my cum into my mouth. <laughs> There was, or I mean, that. again, there's only one time, but there was one time where it shot in a way I didn't expect, and oh. it hit me in the face. Oh, didn't taste it. Now what's ex- but it hit me in the face. Now what is interesting about this for you, the jury, is the fact that you tried to sell the lie to me. You would never jerked off lying down. That wasn't a lie. I believe it. How the fuck did oh you hit God. yourself in the face not jerking a, off lying get down? Get a fucking whiff of this, Troy. What Listen do you mean? to this what do you bullshit. Mean, uh, That's the end of it. You only like crouched over like a Neanderthal? What, no, what do you dude, mean? I was more of a sit down. He was hanging from his feet. I would sit down. <laughs> <laughs> I would sit just like I am right now. Have you never been in a hotel before? Well, th- that's the thing. I hadn't really. He would ask for a chair. I <laughs> excuse me. I did issue. Uh, that's if the I'm creepiest. Honest, I haven't had that's any. That's the creepiest thing. Just, to, just the angry. Just tell me. Like, so wait, you're jacking off. You're jacking off. You don't have to do the most. Sitting up. I just want to make sure I understand. You don't have the and I guess we that makes sense. That, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that makes sense because you're a young kid, right? Uh, no, that was more recent ago. than I'd like. Wow, to. Wow, really? Admit. Okay. No, okay. I'm, it must have been like three, four years ago, maybe. And that should just pop me in the face. Well, you're young too, though. Mm. Okay. That's, mm. That happens, though. You know, a lot of protein. I don't know. A lot of milk. You so build up. Drink a lot of milk. you don't get to bring up any more topics. Oh, <laughs> um, how, how do you say that word? What milk? Milk. Okay. Milk, not milk. How do you say it? So it's a big thing. No, it's not. Because it sounded like you said it the way no, I said. No, I said milk. What do you say? Cool G. Ooh. So Dang, that's I, really I smart. have always been a milk. God, no, it's milk. Am I get okay. all upset it's about it. I'm like, okay. fine, it's milk. Sure, it's I'll milk. say milk. I'll make sure I put that I in there. But it sounded like you no, just said, I said it's, milk. It's, no, 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 no. Putting the I there is not a concession that That's you're making. That's the way the world <laughs> is spelled. <laughs> It's not like you know what I'll get. I'll grant you that I. I'll give it to you, cool. dude. Because otherwise, it's not a word in the English language. What I'll say is that. I say a lot of words wrong. Here we a go. lot of people tell me I don't say roof right. I think I say roof just roof. fine. You say it wrong. What do you? I, what, what's the first meal of the day? Breakfast. Okay, it's not breakfast. I've heard that one too. Okay, breakfast? go ahead. Well, breakfast. That, Kevin says breakfast all fucked up. Breakfast all Kevin, fucked up. Kevin, say breakfast in your microphone. What? Uh, breakfast? Breakfast? He, he says it always. He says say, pizza wrong. Pizza? He says McDonald's wrong. He says McDonald's wrong for sure. Do you go McDonald's? McDonald's? McDonald's, yeah. Okay, Ew. let me ask you a question. Ew. What's the Gross. number one uh, uh, Mexican food chain? Fast food chain. Taco Bell. What is it? Taco Bell. What is it? Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Tim. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. No! Do you see the differences here? What? No. We have Taco two Bell? Taco Bells and two Taco Bells. Taco Bell. Oh, you're talking about the enunciation. Uh, uh, Taco Bell. Out. Cool, Greg. What is it? Thank you, tiebreaker. Oh, oh, what did he you, say though? Are you saying that the bell is enunciated? It's yeah, Taco, Taco bell. bell. It's not Taco Bell. It's like Taco, Taco Bell. Taco bell is the composer. It's Taco Bell. Yeah. Taco what about bell. you? Taco Bell. Yeah, I'm with you. Okay, cool. No, Great. you said Taco bell. bell. No, I didn't. I had a buddy of mine who would There's always say, "Proof of this." Let's go to the I'm corner store. I'm a Taco store. Bell guy. Let's go to the corner store. Corner store. It's like no, it's corner store. Yeah, not the corner store. <laughs> Like he would enunciate the store. It's the it's the store that's on the corner. It's the corner store. Yeah. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Leviosa. I had a friend who said the N word a lot. We don't hang out. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> we don't hang out with him. <laughs> I've been prepping you all for my topic. Topic number four. Okay. And I'm going to read it verbatim, because when I wrote it down, I was like, this is a work of art. You know, when did Greg, you do this? That this, this episode morning. is going to be Troy Baker, part one, part two, part three, and then a topic. Greg's topic. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to miss my flight? What time's your flight? 8.45. No, you're good. No, you should leave here at 6.45 at the latest. So you're fine. Um, right? What time is it? It's 6 o'clock. It's 6. Oh, yeah, this won't go for 45 minutes. It's fine. What? 
What movie monster are you supremely confident you could beat this shit out of? Chucky. The mummy. <laughs> fuck the mummy Chucky. For sure. Chucky? I could fuck You could drop Chucky kick a child. Up, dude. But Chucky's Absolutely. always making the moves you don't expect. He knives, always. Dude, I'm smarter than Chucky, Chucky, dude. I Chucky. went to college. That's a, that's a close range. That's a close range weapon. You could drop kick a doll. I went doll. to college. I could beat up Chucky, dude. Like, no, he's college constant. education doesn't mean you could fight. He's constant. No, 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 but, uh, but no, but Greg. I'd think him. I'd think him. Yeah, Greg made a like, oh, but Chucky's always. Are you supremely ahead. confident no. you could beat the shit out I'm of Chucky? I'm supremely confident I could beat the fuck out of Chucky, dude. He seems easy, right? Kick, yeah. Kick the knife out of his hand. Little, grab him. He, put him in a safe. Lock the safe. You just jump Hold on the him, safe dude. the rest Roll of your life. A wood chipper. Just jump No, on no. Him. Then is <laughs> a fucking rat and it breathes him in, and that's Chucky. You can't do that. Oh, yeah. You yeah, can't yeah. kill him. That'll bring him back. I can't fuck up a rat. I could fuck up a dog. I could just I hold him up. up like, I could just fucking hold him. But he always him. has knives, remember? <laughs> just, <laughs> always? Just fuck him. I mean, he's going to have knives. I'm just, just saying. Fuck him and then mm-hmm. fuck him. No, 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 real fuck talk, him, though. Him. Like, I feel like I'd be more scared of a doll. Oh, no, of a rat than a doll. I feel like there's a list that's coming. Is that clear and present danger? Is that the whole Jack Ryan collection? That, that is said? the Jack Ryan collection up there. Yeah, but then there's the weird Ben Affleck one that just doesn't make sense. What that one was great. The bomb is in the building. The bomb is in play. No. Uh, you said the mummy. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to grab this, this, this loose hair. No. Nope. Can't do it. Mummy. There it is. The sum of all fears. The mummy. Which yeah, mummy definitely. are we talking about? The Boris, Boris Karloff. Karloff. All right, yeah. Oh. The sum of all fears is the one I, where I Ben could not. said. I'm thinking the Arnold Vosloo. Vosloo. The Russians. Not the Arnold Vosloo. Not, not, the, uh, not the Brendan Fraser one. No, 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 That's no, Arnold no, no, Vosloo. No. Oh, my apologies. That's, that's the, the... Didn't Brendan Fraser direct, write, and star in The Mummy? He did not direct it. Uh, it was... <laughs> it was it was directed he by. He didn't write it either. No, he did not direct it. He didn't do much um, of anything. First of all, that is a that is a. I love that movie. Oh yeah, I watched Shout that movie. Out to the he mummy. was great in Bedazzled. The Mummy. Though. No, that was the end of his career. That was wasn't it? Well, the drinking Elizabeth was the end of his Hurley. Career. Let me tell you. Um, Elizabeth Hurley as like I'm still sexy. Like lots you're not of, Kelly LeBrock Part Two is like lots what we call of Elizabeth childhood Hurley. dreams there. Yeah. But see, Kelly LeBrock for me, Kelly LeBrock and Elizabeth Hurley are literally the same person. Oh, British? I don't know who Kelly LeBrock is. Neither. Yeah, you do. Weird science. Uh, you, you actually don't know weird science. Oh my god. Tim's too young. Nick makes a bunch of weird science jokes. Nick weird used to say that me and Alfred are keys, weird Lisa. science, and I don't know what that means. Dude, the weird science the girl? For, yeah. Yes. I know. It's not the TV show, the movie. Oh, never mind. Oh my never god, mind. these young bitches. Give me the keys. They thought it, that bitch kicked me in the nuts. Dude, come on. It's so weird to see him now, by the way. <laughs> Anthony Michael Hall jacked. Yeah. Yeah. It's like weird. He's like, I'm a serious actor. No, you're not. He dude. did Dead Zone. It was a great show. Great show. Okay, he, was he, it? he died or something, came back and could see ghosts. I forget what Wait, Have you ever was seen the original CW Dead Zone? Show? No. You've never seen The Walking Dead Zone? Walking? That's the movie! Christopher Walken? It's his first movie. <laughs> wow. After we did. I love this. Crazy. This is like the sure. Troy Baker, Game <laughs> Over Greggy show universe coming all See, all there's back. a movie that he did, The Deer Hunter. It's crazy. It's fantastic. <laughs> Yours is awful. Don't <laughs> disrespect <laughs> Troy Baker <laughs> by doing it in front of him. You're not invited to walk it no. off. He did, That's as um, bad as my mic. <laughs> wow. You do. Walk, I don't like it. <laughs> he do. He did, uh, he did, he did Deer Hunter. Yeah. Hey, and yeah. then they looked, it was like that look that you give at the very end when, the, when they're doing the whole, uh, Russian roulette thing. He did Dead Zone. It's, it's freaking awesome. It's so good. And then you start seeing like, it's like proto walking. Like you're seeing the early version of what he's going to become. Yeah. It's fantastic. Uh, but Kelly LeBrock, bro, made a lot of happy dreams come true for nerdy boys like me mm. because that's what the whole movie's about. Is you, you, in the face with you that get ah oh, man the late great uh, um, what am I Walter Matthau, Chet. Uh, mm. um, oh, I can picture him. Chet's the dad. Uh, in yeah, hold on, it's almost oh there. Bill God. Paxton. Bill Paxton. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm, boy, what a fucking surprise that was. Uh, Bill Paxton plays his brother. You want your son? Game over, man. Poor. Yep. Well, that's 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 <laughs> way to pull it's that. Out. It's all Titanic, man. Um, Titanic. I feel like you're going off the list, Titanic, right? He isn't Titanic. No, Bill. Is. Bill Why Paxton you do it, is in Rose? Titanic. No, yeah, dude. Bill Paxton's the dude. Oh trying yeah, to fucking... he was the fucking documentarian. Yeah, yeah he was shit. like, it's, hey, real talk. I want to do a whole it's topic been about Titanic. Eighty four years. Week, oh, it's hard, right. Rose. There it is. There it is. Try to remember. And no, you didn't let me finish. <laughs> it's been eighty four years, and I can still see the silverware. Oh, Game shit, I'm over, sorry. man. That's no, what he said. Aliens. <laughs> oh, different movie. Um, so, what are uh, what were you? I feel like you're like going on a list. Like this no, was, no. I mean, I just want to know. You said the Mummy. You think Boris Karloff the Mummy? You can Boris Karloff up. sure. Mummy. So give me a list, though, Greg. Like who are? Oh, the, Dracula. I'm thinking Monster Squad. I can't fuck up Dracula. Dracula. Universal mummies. Yeah. Well, 
I mean, Har- like Nosferatu or or like oh, no, like no, Gary Oldman. Any no, no. no I, I'm th- I'm picturing Monster Squad, but it's open to interpretation. I'm picturing smaller beings that I could overpower. Sure. Like I do more push-ups but than you're you. You're so small. Like like, like uh, a gremlin. Push-ups, though. Sure. Could you fuck up a gremlin, Andy? Oh, I want to watch Andy. Like, Andy I could fucking punt a gremlin, dude. Like, <laughs> but the problem is, there's Cougar always gonna no. be more. Cool, Greg. Cool, Greg. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. What did you just say about gremlins? What did you say about gremlins? They look soft, but they're hard, dude. Oh shit! Gremlins are crazy. I don't have anything else to say. Oh no, man! They look soft. They <laughs> gremlins. Gremlins got claws. They'll fuck gremlins you up. Gremlins look soft, but they hard, bro. If that's not a T-shirt by tomorrow morning, I want to just oh, with the outline of a gremlin head around it. Andy, make gremlins, the T-shirt. Okay, but, the, but the quote. Yeah, oh no, they hard, bro. Dude, if that we put every quote that God Cool Greg said on it, his shirt, that is brilliant. Every day would have some shit new, man. Holy shit! <laughs> See what I jump to is. I get your place now. I and now, get you. Now mine is actually a very double-sided <laughs> blade. It could go either way, Troy. Blade? Blade? No, no. It's a double-sided wow. blade. Uh, Let me stick oh, with me. I know we've all blade. been drinking. <laughs> what is this? Of tax <laughs> evasion. <laughs> That's what I'm going to get him on. No! <laughs> Creature from the Black Lagoon on land. <laughs> You ever see Monster Squad when this motherfucker walks out of the water? You're no like, one saw Monster Squad. You're a fucking squad. idiot. I get, you've Nobody seen Monster saw Squad, Monster right? Squad. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Nobody saw Monster fuck Squad. Fuck you. Dude. Fuck you. You've seen Monster Squad? Yeah, Scott Butterworth seen it. Yeah, hell okay. yeah. Cool Greg hat. You have? Yeah, I don't remember that hat. Oh, we're going to see it again then. <laughs> my brother's all about the monsters. You know what that phrase means, by the way? Either Okay, there's there's one or two meanings when someone goes, I don't remember, jam. but I have seen it. Either A, <laughs> yes. bullshit, you're lying, and you're trying to be cool, or C, or B, wow, or two. <laughs> oh, yeah, but you're the adult. We're well, drunk, yeah. not you. No, no. <laughs> or you were so high when you watched it that it's the literal truth. You're like, yo, I know that somebody put that DVD in. I don't remember. I don't remember it. when, when or where. I don't remember. Yeah. I have many of those movies where it's like, I actually, I, I have, uh, I, I would probably confess that I've done that before too. It's like, you've seen this movie. It's like, absolutely, man. Yeah, I don't remember it, but yeah, I've seen it. I don't know what movie you're talking about, but I don't want to incriminate myself. Right, myself. Yeah. I, I, I want to get into that social awkward conversation, but more than likely it's, I know that we started that movie <laughs> and I got really high. Yeah, yeah for Red movie. October. Yeah. That's yours? By your t- yeah. <gasps> one ping only. Some well, one ping only, but Shirley, please. Never seen it, but I, I just know that hook. quote. Because a long Hulk. time ago on a Game Over Greg show, we I've seen Hulk. Hulk. I've told You've this never story. seen. Hulk Kevin, you remember October? this? You remember this from whatever one from it's Xbox? cold. One ping over. First line is like, cold. Gonna... Yes, cold and I hard. That. I remember that. That was a good one. Anniversary today. show. Then I gave the bri- the bridge talk. You should try to get some sleep, sir. I can't sleep on planes. Why? Turbulence. Excuse me. Turbulence. Uh, sun. And don't call me Shirley. Right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Wrong movie. Radiation from the sun heats the Earth's crust, causing warm air to rise up. Turbulence. Sorry. It's the dude, Alec. But it's a sub, that would it's be a the submarine. Other one. We, we, who, we were having the Alec Baldwin conversation earlier, right? Okay. Right here, you on this show because so, you've been back so many times. Uh, uh. Well, no, no, no. You said about, this. I'm just bringing. There's, there's, yeah. there's three things that. I, okay, I, I, I was in New York and I was uh, in the lobby of a hotel, and about the distance from me and Kevin was Alec Baldwin. Nice. And I went. Oh, I really just want to go over there and say these three things. Um, Hunt for Red October. Um, <laughs> don't laugh. The shadow that departed. No. What? And this thing that he rock. did, he narrated for. I would even bring up Final Fantasy, but that'd be probably be bad memories. No. Um, Spirits within. Yeah, it's great. He's fantastic in it. It was a thing. Yeah. Um, and Solid then theaters. this thing that he did for like Nat Geo called uh, Journey. Metreon? Huh. No, I saw it in, in Illinois. Oh, I saw it in Metreon, like Guys. a fucking adult. <laughs> oh, sorry that the show's finally off the rails. <laughs> <laughs> and third, there's three things I would bring up to Alec Baldwin. Is number one would be Hunt for Red October. Number two would be what the fucking second thing that I said was uh, uh, the Shadow. The Shadow, because he was has a brilliant thing. Is like uh, he's great in it. The, the movie's terrible. It's not what I do that defines me. No, I, oh, that's that's Batman. <laughs> and number three would be this thing that he did for Nat Geo, where it's a single camera shot from Earth to as far as we can see to the beginning of the universe. Saturn. Over an no, we can see further than that. Hour and a half. <laughs> Neptune. <laughs> narrated by Alec Baldwin. I, it's that's like, awesome. This is our world. It's brilliant. 
and I couldn't muster up couldn't the strength it. to go up because I didn't want him to go over because he was having a really intense conversation with like a mm. business associate. I didn't want him to go, go fuck yourself. And I would have been like, ah. You've been on the other side of that. Not that you would ever tell anybody to go fuck yourself, but where you're in the middle of something and someone comes and you're going to get a car and blah, blah, blah. And like, that's always what it is for me where it's like, I don't know what that person's rules are and somebody's talking to me. I lost my shit at some people at an airport. Really? Just recently, I, and I had to. I went back through the airport, and I and I found them. I, I was at a con, and I you have a human moment. Yeah. And you know we have Wi-Fi on the plane and stuff, so it's not like I get on a plane and I'm cut off. I'm Ooh. still doing shit. Yeah. And just some really gnarly shit went down over this plane, and so I get off, and I wait like what turbulence? No, 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 no. Like 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 work wise, like I was oh, I was juggling shit, and. Oh. Look, uh, it sounds super privileged, and I get that. I travel a lot, and there's a few things that I that I care about. It's like uh, I want to. I'll travel well, but if I go to a city that I'm not familiar with, just let me. That's killer your ride boots, to man. The F1. Um, let me know how I'm getting out of there. Like I, I want, I want someone to 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 get me through that situation. Sure. Um, and there was nobody there to greet me or let me know where I'm going or anything. So I'm lost. I'm looking for somebody. And uh, when you go to a town that's having like a big convention, um, there are people there waiting at the airport for you to sign stuff. And sometimes that's cool. Other times it's like, hey, man, not now. And they just kind of keep coming after you. And the, these guys came up to me and I, I, I said, you know, hey, man, guys, not, not right now. I was like, come on, Troy, don't be a dick. And so mm. I grab stuff and I said, was like, fucking there you go. And I like yell. I was like, you have no idea what happens to somebody. Just fuck off. And I like, I lost my shit on it. Wow. And they like were taken back and I walked outside and I find out where the, the guy with the car was, whatever. And I, I walked back through the airport and I found him. I was like, Hey guys, I'm so sorry. Um, just understand that, you know, you have no idea what, what's happened from the time that we took off and time we land. Yeah. Um, you're doing your thing. I, I get that. And I'm really, really sorry. Uh, you caught me in a human moment. I hope you're going to forgive me. But just, just if somebody says no, take the no. You know. Sure. So this is a really cool moment. They're like really sorry. Totally apologize. And they were cool. Um, but I wonder how many people. Like, I mean, Russell Crowe is different. You don't beat somebody up with the phone. Um, <laughs> but there's those human moments that you catch people in that you don't. Like I, I had the the foresight i guess whatever to not look at alec baldwin because i had no idea and the guy's not necessarily the most even tempered dude he's yeah, not yeah. measured necessarily but i i've got a friend of mine who has had several opportunities to meet bob dylan and the the phrase never meet your heroes mm. really applies to him because he loves bob dylan so much that if he met him and bob dylan just if that meeting wasn't the thing that he wants it to be sure it would ruin all of it like nick and bruce willis what? Yeah, Nick's Nick. a huge Bruce Willis fan, and, and then on a, on, a, on an on an on a on one of the IGN lines, yeah. Yeah, it, it wasn't even it wasn't even Nick's pro, Nick didn't even yeah, transgress. Don't, don't meet Bruce, but it was Willis. the guy Bruce Willis did the interview. <laughs> and it was fine and went next, and then somebody took a photo of Bruce Willis right while he's doing an interview, and Bruce Willis like stopped the interview. He's like, and he's like, I'm sorry, what the fuck did you just do? Did you just take a photo of me? Like well, I'm in the middle of something, blah blah, and, and the guy's like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean you know, like. It was that thing where it ruined it for Nick. Nick's on the show before a million times. Yeah. And that's, but that's my thing too, where it's like, I'm always so forthright with our viewers, our best friends, right? Of like, if you see me come up and say, hi, talk to me, give me a hug. Like I'm not that guy. But then like the other side of the coin is like, you know, uh, I was like, it was a weird thing of like it, when Silicon, uh, Silicon Valley comic con was happening. Uh, Jen and I went out to breakfast and I thought I saw Steve Wozniak on the street hmm. and I googled like the most recent photo I could find it wasn't him I was like oh that's one of you and the next day I was in the airport after that con had ended and I literally passed Steve Wozniak and walked next to him for a second and I wanted to say thank you and this and that and it's just like I don't know his rules I don't know how right. he feels because I, I you know I have this old story of CM Punk where I saw CM Punk and I tapped him on the shoulder and I said excuse me sir and he blew the fuck up and now I still to this day think he overstepped it but those were the rules for him, and it's made me gun shy to a point of like, well, I'm not going to fucking. He's always been super cool whenever I see him. But I, yeah. I understand like that. That's not the guy that you just like test those waters. Yeah. It's like going to pot the, you know, poke this Rottweiler. Um, it's so weird because I mean, I've I've had, I've had stories that go both ways. I've had stories where it's it's really really cool. I was walking through the grocery store that's right by our house, and 
Malcolm X. Malcolm X. <laughs> you know the story. Barry um, Bonds. I'm walking through and I look and I'm like, holy shit, that's Dave Grohl. Oh, wow. And so Dave Grohl's kind of looking and I walk past him and I go, hey, man, I think you're brilliant. Yeah. And I just kept walking. And he goes, <laughs> and to this day, I have a tendency to speak a little bit lower and a little bit fast. Yeah. So I don't know what he heard. Mm. He could have been like, Hey, I think you're an asshole. Yeah. yeah and he's yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> all I know is that I imagine this is Dave Grohl's perspective of that situation. Wife tells me to go to the grocery store. <laughs> and I think he's looking at like tampons. Like he was looking at it. He was clearly like, trying to discern between brands or something. He's like, I, I don't know what, what she said. Heavy flow. I, I don't, I don't know what this thing. Hey man, I think you're brilliant. This is my life. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, some guy happens to catch me in, in this human right. moment. Um, but I've had a couple of those where it's just, Hey, I want to take a second to let you know that what you've done has meant something to me. Yeah. And I, there's sometimes when we don't need to have a, a 20 minute conversation or even yeah. a picture or a I'm not photo. asking for you a yeah, sign. Yeah, yeah. I just, I don't know what your day looks like, but I like what I love about what you guys have done is that you've created a community mm -hmm. and it's something that I think at, at the beginning was about you and then it became about all of you. And now it's about so much more than just you guys. Sure. And when we're in, Belfast, Ireland, and people are walking up. Uh, that, with... that shit gets me, man. When you go, when you, because you get to go to so many more international cons than we do. Yeah, dude. And when they go to you and they wear a kind of funny shirt and they're like, Troy noticed the shirt and said that blah, blah, and best friends. And I'm like, that's how, I mean, like, I've known for years that you're, you're the, the man. Ink, yeah. Man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude. It's Mario, like, man. Mario Shout out to Mario. Mario he not did it. He fucking yeah. did it. Yeah. That's, that's impact. And again, that's not about you. That's not about even this. It's about that. It's about Absolutely. all of that yeah. to where there's a community. And I got a taste of it when we were doing the album and we we did the, the Twitch live streams and stuff. And the guy from Twitch was like, you guys have been off the air for an hour and there's still people hanging out. Just that talking. is the magic. The yeah. It's That's, the people that are just there talking. They just want to be there. And I know this because I am a part of those communities. I talk about this so much, but the tone deaf stuff, like those communities I was a part of, I would be there. I would be in the communities. I still am in these communities. When things happen, I'm there. I'm talking. I am part of this conversation. And it's the off air stuff that yeah. matters. Yeah. That means that these people did something so important to someone's life that the chat is still going when they're off. And I love that. I love it so. You're just willing much. to talk to like-minded people about, and yeah. that's the beauty. Or of it. even not necessarily like-minded people, but people that the the, the same interest. Yeah, you, we, we're here. We don't necessarily agree on Everything. this, but we agree on this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's not necessarily yeah. about being like-minded. You so could true. have Republicans and Democrats, you know, in the same room together. You could have people that are, are from all walks of life, but. That's when, you know, like that time when I quit Twitter or whatever, and you look and you go, there is some magic. There is some beauty to be found in this. Sometimes you have to dig a little bit deeper, but God damn it, guys. There's, there's people like you that are the, the bastions of that, that are, to me, are holding the front line of being able to go, it's really ugly in here, but we'll at least be here mm -hmm. to give you shelter from that storm. Um, I, and and I, I really... I, I say this every time that I'm here. Um, I really commend you guys because there were no heavier nor more brass balls that it took to walk away from the gig and to just literally do the Indiana Jones leap of faith from the lion's head <laughs> and, and to step out and to be in, in this and to see not only you guys surviving, but thriving is 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 just amazing, and I I call you friends, and I call you family, and I'm damn proud of you guys. Hell, you know that's, damn true. Proud of you. that's true. We you were the so first host of Kind of Funny Live, and you always will be. And it's so <laughs> yeah, funny because like we've now done three of them. Kind of yeah. Funny Live one was a moment in time, and it was more than we ever deserved, <laughs> but we had it right. And you were there, and you fucking rocked it. Thank you, man. But, and you've seen from the internet, Kind of Funny Live two and three, like stupid. It's what is <laughs> it's stupid, right? Stupid's a great but way to like put what, it. But like, what you've <laughs> seen the jump, right? Yeah. You know exponential. How much bigger? Like at Kind of Funny Live one, we had one projector 
showing videos, not even on the set. It was on the right. On the right. Like it was just fucking me and Nick had a conversation about should we get two? And it was like, oh, it's not in the budget. Like we just can't do that. And, and now, Nick's brother, man, just like yeah. stage manager that shit was just amazing. And to this we, day he still does. I yeah? believe Good. we perfected it. Kind of, of funny life two was amazing. Kind of funny life three, I didn't think it could be two, and it did. It really fucking did. Now that it's out and everyone can see it, I'm so proud of it. And I just like it makes me proud to think that you can see parts of it and be proud of where we're going. I think honestly, that's what this community is based on: is that people have agency in this. Yeah, and so it's just like me. I get to see you guys twice a year, maybe three times a year, if yeah. that, if, if I'm lucky. And but I still feel like I have agency and I, I get to share in the pride and celebrate and like, fuck, yeah, they hit that level or, you know, watching from afar and, and being able to really be upset that I wasn't able to just be in the crowd at Kind of Funny 3 and then going, what the fuck are they going to do for kind of? By the way, if you don't ever have a Rocky theme or a Superman theme for four, you guys are wrong <laughs> because that's a poster. Like, kind of Funny Life for the quest for peace. The quest for peace. <laughs> It's just like, it's just the And everybody's worst. like, you know what? Yeah, this should end. This is probably the this best the point for an end. But no, I mean, that's, you know, every time you come on, I hope we tell you enough how much we love you, how much we love your support. I mean, you were my last up at noon guest for a reason, yeah. and you immediately came over to do kind of funny stuff the next day because you're family. Yeah, man. We love you. Thanks, dude. Love you, too. If you didn't know, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Game Over Greggy Show each and every week for sometimes five best friends gather on this table, each bringing a random topic of discussion for your amusement. Sometimes. If you like that, head over to patreon.com slash kind of funny where you can get each and every episode early. How early, Troy Baker? How early? So early. You can watch it while we're doing it right now and nothing can get cut out. So whatever the fuck happens, happens. <laughs> you got no bucks to toss our way. No big deal. Head over to youtube.com slash kind of funny where we put it up topic by topic day by day until it goes up as one big video and MP3. Troy. Thank you, as always. My pleasure, dude. My pleasure. Thank you guys for having me. I was always... I'm so impressed that you could say all that right now. <laughs> I know, dude, dude. That, that's... That's autopilot. Hey, Greg Miller is so good at this whole hosting <laughs> yeah. thing. No one gives him enough credit for yeah. it. Because it's like, we have to do it on the morning show, and I'm sure you guys have noticed. But whenever it's me or Nick having to do it, we kind of half-ass it. Yeah, and totally. we're just like, we're here, we're, we're doing this thing, it is yeah, what it yeah. is, whatever. Or no, Gamescast. It's <laughs> there's, a lot of, there's a lot of that. <laughs> but uh, for me, it's just like, I when I'm a Gamescast, I just kind of do the whole scene. Greg Miller's actually talented at what he does. Here's you what I'll say. This there, is the bourbon talking. There by the used way. to be yeah. an old show called Tough Enough. Where there was. they would go and train people who the wanted WWE, to be WWE, WWE superstars. WWE, WWE, WWE. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. And Taz. God rest his soul. Taz isn't he dead. Died? Taz isn't dead. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, but he did it. There was they were talking about taking bumps. And these kids were complaining about how bumps hard take cocaine. A, no, no, taking bumps where you fall down and you hit the oh, mat. Okay. You spread your body weight out. You know what I mean? How you fall on the mat and not get hurt. And uh, something that always stuck with me is these kids were bitching about it, and Taz is like, You're all idiots. Like I could slip on a block of ice tomorrow and I would take the, I would take a bump. Like, because it's just second nature. And it's that I can be blackout fucking drunk. I can intro and outro this show. Nobody's business. <laughs> Don't worry about that. This you is can bring Portillo, stuff. shoot him right there, and I'd be like, well, this table. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I would roll on. This is all this stuff that normally the credits are rolling over, and <laughs> oh, the totally. audio's dead. That's, and then <laughs> you just described all of Kind of Funny's poor content. <laughs> Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, it's been our pleasure to serve you. Hey, party people, guess what? There is a sale over at kindoffunny.com slash store up to 40% off select items Monday through Sunday. Go check it out. Have a good time. And of course, click here to go check out our Patreon. Click here to subscribe to Kind of Funny. Click here to go to Kind of Funny Games. And click down here to go to the mystery spot. Guess what? It's just a playlist of fun videos we enjoy. That's what I like to put there. Ooh, I'm a smooth boy, Greggy M.